Ah, I just want to watch that shit. Sorry for the hold up. Uh, but I'm actually on now. So I think I'll actually, right after doing dailies, probably go straight for Abyss. And the current blessing should be much more conducive to using Linny. Uh, so it should hopefully work a little better than last time, but we'll see. Let's see about that. Okay. A little bit more. Um, let's see. A little bit of. Ooh, network is. Okay. That was soft. Ooh, okay. Just thinking. Now, let's see. So I moved my fan around to blow directly on the computer. Help cool it down, because it's gotten hot here already, even though it's only the start of May. It is what it is. And that'll be a little bit more, but right now, stuff is in leeway, so... Oh, that is pleasantly close. It's sad. It's gonna have to be... Primarily using Electro for this little daily here, given how much there is in the way of. Okay, oh, but didn't bring the barrel down. Interesting. And, uh, so, over there, and. Oh, well. Hi. Interesting. Did that a couple of times. Come on. And just send you a little bit, and there we go. It is fun having the overlords do so much of the work for me. Let's see if there's anything inside in this barrel. Well, whatever. Uh, hmm. Go down this way. And take down this little time trial challenge. Oh well. And then, oh, yep. Lots and lots of electro. Come on, come on. Let's look at that. And thank you. And okay, cool. And that was Arlequino, but not Shavros. No, it was. Hajimashenshi, how are you doing? Glad to see you here. I was able to get a short bite to eat, even though I woke up at oh, 32 minutes ago. Are you having a good day? Hope so. Let's do in dailies real quick before I go and run Abyss with Linny and Arlequino teams where hopefully they will work better this time, but we'll see. Come on, come on. Just one, two, three. And good stuff. Let's keep on running through, take down these barriers as quickly as possible and just let. Yeah, that is one quick tap. Just let. The little balloon just pass right through here once that's done. Not too complicated. Or... It is always interesting how the hitbox still stands around and you bump into it even though... Oh. Technically the health bar is depleted. Oh, interesting! I didn't know you were doing a bunch of exercise stuff right now. That's cool. I... My ab day is on Sunday this coming week. I have it on kind of a two-week cycle. It might be partially me. I have had Wi-Fi issues. Okay, okay. Well, hopefully it works out. Wouldn't want you to unexpectedly vanish from sight again. Any big news one way or the other? Or just same old, same old. And it is interesting how both crates and little bushes will... Uh, crates and little bushes will light on fire when you hit them with pyro, but only... Only the crates will actually do damage when you touch them while they're burning down. Bushes will not do that, though to be fair, I guess it makes more sense considering you can't actually really make contact with the bushes anyway. Okay, so we'll just let the bullion go through. Let's end on that daily. 
last one is going to be increasing danger, okay. And then yeah, straight to abyss. Pretty simple. Okay. I really, really do enjoy using Arlequino's teams, even if well, especially this Arlequino Chivalrous team, even though though technically Bennett would be better, just because you don't have to stay in the Bennett circle with this team. There is no Bennett circle, because there is no Bennett. You know, as long as you're in range of the turrets, so they, and that the overloads can still proc, you're free to move around more or less as much as you like, which is good given how wave content oriented this team is and how much how wave content oriented Arlequino is in general. It, it's just a preference, but... Oh, goodness. Well, that was kill. Okay, so... Then... Shouldn't... Yep, okay, reinforcements are coming. We'll just dodge out of the way of that, and dodge the charge. In terms of what? In terms of not wanting to play Circle Impact with Bennett? I will say, it balances out how good he is, and it is interesting how they have ways to balance characters and negate some characters being kind of overpowered without straight up just nerfing multipliers. But it also means that part of the reason that I run her on a team without Bennett is that since I'm running Linny as Linny and Abyss on the other side, and Linny really, really needs Bennett, that keeps Bennett free for Linny. Because you may or may not have seen, but the team I use for- oh, goodness. Wi-Fi is going all sorts of- okay. What? Okay? Huh. Okay, I'm kinda confused. I hope things aren't chopping in and out and on and off too much. But, it's very interesting because that sort of approach to balance is what they took with Venti, and that they never made him... Oh my lord. Is the Wi-Fi really getting that bad? Okay, in that case, I should probably move Wi-Fi antenna back a bit. This is... Okay, my, my Wi-Fi was cutting out a bit, so that would have been me, not you. But the big thing is that when they wanted to make Venti a bit less oppressive, for lack of a better term, they didn't make his multipliers weaker. They just introduced new enemies who dealt better with crowd control, which is very, very different than other games might have handled it. Uh, just... God. So dumb. Uh, it's just too damn hot. Uh, nothing works when it's this goddamn hot out. Uh, okay, vaporize reaction, and this is just normal. Numa Usia. Winning first half. I want to see the final fours. That has to be the Orlokino team. That has to be. And then... But... Uh, depends on the Fire Frost and Fulmination. Huh. Huh. Just trying to think. Big thing is that the Linny team has no real way to handle... The Fire... The animo is not going to consume that well at all. Huh. But also, I can't imagine Lenny would do too well against... Uh, as long as... If I can make... Oh, uh, but also the, the operatives. This might be tough. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so first half... Let me see. First half, Lenny team. Second half... Erlikino team? I think that's gonna be how it is. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Dia and then other side is. Alright, Erlikino. Yai, Fischl, then Chevros. I will say, 
As goofy as it sounds, as goofy as it sounds... I would love to put Golden Troop on Yai, but there just isn't... I don't have another Golden Troop set to use. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, Burst, that is... Decently usable. We'll just go for a couple of crop arrow shots, I suppose. Maybe. Okay, please just spin. And then, go for you. Oh, well, we. Oh, stupid. Oh, come on, please. And what? Let me. Oh, you're. Oh, that. I'm sorry to hear that. That is not good. Please don't 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 die. That would bog down the day. Okay. Well, either way, as long as you can, if you can deal with them, I guess that's all right. Uh, well, all right. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, come on. Just gotta scroll this around a bit more. Another scroll should hopefully and just one more, one more. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, and he... I don't know, you know. You're a warrior, a fighter. So many things in life are all about framing. You know. You can choose to let things control and define you, or you can... I wouldn't say fight back, but... I don't know. Okay, there we go. Oh, and yep, the continual charge. That's fine. And then, attack up. Oh, Hajime Mashanshi, Sigmar the Lancer. How are you doing? Long time no see. How have you been? I'm just doing a little bit of... Oh, well... Hmm. Oh, please. So we need to try that again. Okay. And then... Oh, so much getting knocked around. What? What? Come on. Okay. Slam. One. Oh, and... You're kidding me, and it... Oh, and it failed to actually put that back down, because we got frozen. That is ludicrous. Okay, well, alright. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of abyss right now with... Uh, a Linny team on one side and an Arlequino team on the other. Oh, he's... That's the idea behind it. We'll see how it really works. So I tried using Linny and Arlequino together last rotation, and I had to switch Linny out because the team just was not working in this for various reasons. It is what it is. We have to... Oh, the nosebleed's getting worse. Oh, nice! So what part of Fontaine are you on right now? Have you reached Sea of Yor yet? Because that's what I'm dealing with right now. What would you say your favorite Fontaine area you've dealt with so far has been? Come on, just take that and... Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, cool. Just... Please do not die. Please. The only thing I ask for you is do not die. Okay, just... Take that out. One, two, three. Take that out. Class. Then, on to... Thank you, there we go. Alright, cool. Hmm. So, did you manage to get Arlequina this time around? And are you looking forward to Corinth? Or Quarinta, or... Lord knows. Ooh, uh, oh goodness, that was a very silly mistake to make. So, let's do that one more time, and just... One, two, one, two, actually, oh, but we, hmm. come on, one, where are you, where are you, uh -huh. please, and 
I'm just... Oh, but you're... That's way too far away. Noxious. Bless. Okay. Swirl. Swirl again. Thank you, thank you. Hmm. Take some of that and blast. Oh! That's a cool choice. So, are you, who are you trying to make good in particular? Or are you gonna try to run maybe Shenhe main DPS? Because I was hoping to run Shenhe with Ayaka, but I never got Ayaka once I got Shenhe. So I've mostly been running her with Rathesli occasionally whenever Rathesli is relevant, which is. Not too often, as you may or may not expect, but I don't regret my investment, because I always use new characters when I'm doing weeklies in Fontaine. I use an opportunity to bring characters who can proc Numa and Usia, but mm -hmm. I'm still going to have to run, just get the Electro on the various Hyro enemies on the first half. Alright, alright. Hmm. I do find it very, very funny. I like what it means for the lore, but I find it silly that we can't pick it up, that there's just a Calamity Queller lying around in Shenny Vale. That you go in this one cave, as you may or may not have seen, and Calamity Queller is just sitting there. Oh, right, I need to put. Shavros there, Dia there, like a fool. Okay. There we go, teams are back. Oh, cool! So... And are you doing that with Kokomi? Or, I know some people try to use the Ayaka on that. But... I just wonder about... Being able to maintain healing on that team in Abyss. And whether it would be able to reliably get the HP I needed back. It... It's a matter of preference, but still. Oh, uh, and... Okay, we were actually able to break through that. Even with that shield, just because of how strong the resistance thread was. Aika, Rosaria, Kokomi, and Venti. Okay. Venti could work quite well, just because of... I could be able to hit inside and burst even charge attacks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I really wish Rosaria was good. I have a friend who stopped playing a while ago, but he really, really liked Rosario as a character. And kept trying to make it work, and it just never did. And it was always just kind of sad, because I was sort of, you know, you can try using Dragon Spine Spear, you could try running her quick swap with Wizard or just Permafreeze in general, but it just never was up to par, and eventually he kind of just... Gave up, to be fair, he was... It also just wasn't always his kind of game. But even still, it was... It was kind of sad. Okay, so... And the only way to really get through that is gonna be... Rocking a 4 passive... Oh, goodness. I'm getting knocked around. Oh, but... Uh, please. Please. Put that down and... Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Take that and... Blast. Oh, that actually worked a lot better than I expected. Come on, just... Three, three... And one, two, three, four... Come on, come on, ooh, ooh. One. That did not quite work. Oh, please. Uh, the lack of poison this is actually starting to get to me. Oh, that already killed. Hmm. So, what weapon do you have on Rosaria right now? What's your setup look like? Come on, come on, just dodge and cool. Oh, that managed to stun them out. Interesting. Okay. Take that and one, two, but I was not intending to hit it. Okay, please. One, two, two. Three, and blast. There we- oh, okay. And one final little physical hit took him down. Okay. Hmm. Mental burst. No one's gonna get below 50, so that is not something reasonably relevant to that. Okay, so we'll just blast you. 
Thank you. Take that and one, two, oh. one, two, three, and kill that guy before his gator. Before the others too. That fast. Okay. One and just blast. Take that down pretty handily. And oh goodness. Oh goodness. And we'll swim over there. And hopefully, oh, but they are not going to come over here anytime soon. That is less than satisfactory. Luckily, we have our. Uh, have our stuff over there. Favonius for Rosari, yeah. Favonius is definitely definitely an ideal choice if she's basically just there to substitute. And you'd be able to just put her right on Shenha afterwards, so even better. Miss Splitter. Oh, yep, Miss Splitter. That's nice. I actually got Scoured Atlas rolling for Arlequino's side, and I have it on Scaramouche right now, but it's really just for dailies, because as you may or may not know, actually... <laughs> He's actually better off with Witsit than Skyward Atlas, as long as he has external buffs. So if you're running him with Bennett, as long as you have R5 Witsit at least, I believe, you're better off putting Witsit on him than trying to use Skyward Atlas, because the crit buff and the additional buffs make more of a difference than the slightly higher base attack on Skyward, and it isn't even a crazy difference. Which is kind of sad, given that one is a 5-star. And Skyward for Venti. How much better is Skyward than something like Stringless? Are you running a, are you running a crit build on him? Because I know that it is... I thought when Kaza came out, that's when Transformative Reactions got better. At least before that... It was unilateral, unilaterally better to try to run. Hmm. Crit on Venti. Okay. Hmm. Let me take that. Thank you, thank you. Start the challenge, and oh, hello! And I thought that would have, I really thought that would have hit the shield. You're kidding. Absolutely kidding. This is honestly pretty stupid. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. And just one blast. And where is every. Uh, uh, oh, please. Luckily, the. Oh, and Kaza broke that down. That's even nicer. So do we want to break you down? Thank you. And over there, we got a little bit more. Come on, come on, and take that. Actually, already broke through. So, how to get Electro? That is quite strange. Okay, well, whatever. Come on, come on, and shoot. Get a little bit more, and hit. Okay, so how much is that? Oh, please. Come on, come on. 4P with. Okay. Interesting. Because that is... I think that is still viable. Especially if you have a lot of EM from main stats. But I think... I mean, because in the end, as I'm sure you know, the ultimate is, of course, getting Elegy on there for the sake of... For the sake of the buff. Because even still, I believe it should still give him decent EM. I'm not sure, actually. Come on, come on, come on. But that's a long-term goal and pretty far off, so. Said, I've done a lot better against this chamber than I really expected to. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, and yep, it is funny how she can just keep on flying because it takes that last input into account. Mental skill. For staff. Okay. And just take that. Try not to fall down, and thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're there, and... mm -hmm. Come on, come on, and just dodge out of the way of that, take some of this. Oh, but they didn't get, they didn't get the shred, that's right. 
And then blast, blast, take that, and cool. Thank you. Okay, so over there, a couple more stacks, thank you. Just take that and swirl. Thank you, thank you. Take that and slam. This is a surprisingly long chamber. Huh. And then over there is, oh, a couple of geobishops. Okay, you ER already. Oh, okay. Oh, that's smart. I like that. Using Rosaria is. You know, fab battery, that would be fair. I assume. When I've run Shenha, something I've run into is just since she's running full attack percent goblet, sands, and circlet, I don't have a huge amount of crit rate with which to trigger fab. Even with Cryo Residence, it can be kind of a crapshoot. That, to be fair, I imagine it'd be better if I use her than actual Ayaka team, because then I'd be doing it in at least a low AoE situation. Because when I'm running her with Rathazel, usually it's in single target situations, which she is definitely a bit less suited for. Okay, so we. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, come on, just eliminate. Ah, oh, please. I, oh. Just... I'll just take you down this way. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, please. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you have to deal with pyro enemies when you're mostly a pyro team. Okay, we got a few of you. The thing with the Whopper Flowers is mainly just... No one's related to overload, frankly, but whatever. Three and just one, two, three. Oh, please. Come on. Two, three, one, two, three. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. There we go. Two, three, and go around. Let's trigger the overload, and. Okay, who's next? Okay, you, you, you. Hmm. Oh, interesting is in with Chevros or just standard? Because it works really well if you have Chevros for the sake of Res and Shred, but if it's the damage from Overload, it might be a bit more tough. I remember reading some time back that a lot of people, well, it's not, not really a lot of people, but people would drive running Yanfei Overload teams, and they would specifically build less crit, trying to minimize crit rate to avoid procking pyro too many times and getting rid of the aura. So if you score a crit with your charge attack, you know, that's an extra pyro hit with its own application. But they didn't want that. Okay. Oh, and they actually swore about that correctly. Interesting. And who is over that way? Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that those booters are over. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for the, thank you for the cross promotion. You know, Start them young. Thank you very much. I'll just be chilling over here. Come on and just a bit of that. Ooh. So what can we swirl? What can't we swirl? Okay. Sanja. Ooh, don't kill me, please. Please do not kill me. Swirl that, swirl that, and... Mm. Let's see how well this works. And break that, and... Oh, please. Do not kill me. I'm begging. Please do not kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Oh. Luckily, Bennett healing is very, very fast. And there we do. There we have it. So, Sigmar. You're... We might have had this conversation at this point, but at this point, I honestly just assume everyone in my chat plays Souls or is at least interested in it. Are you excited for Elden Ring DLC? Butao, Fischl, Beto, and Jean. Oh, that's interesting. Honestly, meta or not, it sounds like a fun comp to play. That is honestly the most important thing a lot of the time. And just blast, get a bit of health back. That was fun. Now we have two wyverns, but mm -hmm. All right. And just blast over there, and... What are they going to be doing? That's the thing. How much damage can we do right now? Just take you down, thank you, and... Oh. Trying to shoot them down with official could be nice, but it would 
prevent them from moving towards me, even though they didn't end up doing that. Yeah, I... The craziest thing to me is just... Again, the fact that they're adding eight new weapon types. And the fact that two or three of them are still unknown. The big thing is that I really, really hope... That the martial arts weapons... Can be used with... Infusions or enchantments. So that you can just light your hands on fire. Or put electricity on them and use them like... Use them like that. Because... Actually, Kaizen might make up for some of the lack of AoE damage on this team. Either way, our damage is good in general. And hopefully, we should be able to deal with the second half decently well with Arlecchino, but we'll see. Those operatives get knocked around pretty easily, so I'm a little worried. Because in... I've been playing Dawncraft recently, as you may or may not have seen, and by recently I mean for the past few months. So it's been on for some time, but... Essentially, I just recently managed to make, essentially, my ul my ultimate weapons, which are just two very, very heavily enchanted knuckles, because they just have really, really high DPS because they make the best use of sharpness enchantments. And since in Java, it's just a lot of damage, so the faster your weapon, the better. Mm. But I've realized I start Dark Souls 3 on Saturday, a couple of days for me, that I'm probably going to use a paired weapon strategy. Stuff like Cestus, Stringhammer, Cell Sword, Twin Spears, maybe, eventually maybe Ring Knight paired great swords, but at that point there wouldn't really be anything to use them on in terms of fire damage weak enemies. But, eh, we'll see. But, because it, it does bear a bit of a sim similarity to what I'm doing in Minecraft right now, so if I could keep that idea of just, you know, beyond just Cestus, if I could do that with Martial Arts too, because I'd be able to do it with Cestus and Elden Ring, because Fists are the few paired weapons that really exist most of the time, except for Ornamental Straight Sword and St Star Surge Goat Swords, so, I don't know, we'll see. Then, right, we just dodge out of the way of some of these, and, oh, but, right, you have to run straight to the left right when it starts, because, as you may or may not know, if you dodge over and run around, you can get them to stay grouped up, which is significantly more convenient. Okay, then we'll just do that, and thank you, and then just plunge it. Spin! Thank you, and oh, this damage is actually really, really good. Okay, yeah, I, I'm faithful. I'm faithful. Come on, come on, and just two, and take that. Now that, that's quite good. I am more than satisfied. Okay, and they're still grouped, which is nice. Okay, Galloping Frost is going to take a bit, possibly, but we'll see. Thank you, just... Oh, goodness. One, two, one, two. Oh, okay. It is a lot of fun. Do you plan to beat it before the DLC comes out, or do you think you're going to wait? Because I actually beat it a while back for the sake of... Oh, goodness. That was embarrassing. Yeah, for me, actually, I... I beat Radabeast, and I just didn't actually progress to the credits. I just didn't get around to it. But... Okay, because you're going for 100% right now. I really just kind of went through as fast as I could for the sake of... Like I was saying, it was actually when Furina was coming out with 4... I mean, yeah, 4.2. Because that was sort of... I saw that... Uh, Hydro Tulpa actually had a pretty similar move set to Morgoth, and that some people were thinking about Elden Beast being kind of similar to the Whale Boss, and I sort of, you know, if it's going to be true at all, I may as well experience it in its original form before, you know, doing the rest. That was my thought. That was just my thought. Okay, so, we'll get some of that. We've applied a bit of elements, so we'll 
damage a bit, and Abyss jump scare, literally. How are you doing, Scout Mesh? Having a good day wherever you are? Oh, interesting. Yeah, I... That's kind of what I'm doing in regards to... Uh, in regards to beating the rest of the, rest of the FromSoft games, because my goal is... And we'll see how I manage your Demon Souls to beat... To be Dark Souls 3 Sekiro and maybe Demon Souls in time for the DLC to come out, and then I'll start my on-stream Elden Ring playthrough. That's the idea, at least. Well, oh, nice, Stardew. I didn't know you were big on Stardew. That's cool, though. I'm glad you're getting a chance to... And you just got to see your golden boy die. I'm sorry. So this is, as you can probably see... To be fair, I could try running... Zhongling on this team for the OE. But past this chamber, this half is mostly going to be... Just single target. Okay. Oh, Rimworld? Okay, question. How deranged have you gotten? Because I know any time I hear about Rimworld, though to be fair, it's been a while since, that could be a fun thing to stream, maybe. It's been people just capturing random people and turning them to human skin hats and stuff, and it's just interesting, interesting. You know, kind of like a more evil mode dwarf fortress in space, I suppose. Okay, so let's keep shooting, see who has most on them right now, and just, oh, come on, come on, come on. Then, yeah, because I guess the question is sort of hell for who. Okay, so we spin over there. I'm gonna get this to as fast as possible. I didn't know there were demons in Rimworld. I knew it was sci-fi, I didn't know it had any fantasy aspects. That actually makes me a lot more interested in actually. Interesting. Because that, that could be fun. I know a while ago I had some friends suggesting I play Dwarf Fortress. And I would honestly like to do that eventually, given how a lot of stuff has come out. Including just, you know, the actual full release of the game, but... And you're kidding. I, oh, I need to maybe put in Kaza a little earlier so I can, I don't know, get a bit of healing there. Thank you for the... Yeah, exactly, leaving immediately. Oh, it's a mod. Okay, what's the mod called? Because if I did play RimWorld, I feel like either at the start or eventually it could be interesting to try some mods, but... This is... We are trying to run a team that arguably isn't entirely well suited to this chamber? I don't know. We'll see. Either way, we moved around, so... The AI has been successfully kind of... Cheesed. Okay. Oh, and we dodge out of the way of that successfully. Nice. Iframe that. You gotta love any game with an iframe dodge. Well, so much... Oh, so much to Dark Souls. Okay, thanks for popping in. Does not seem like you'll be in be in here forever. Okay, so blast and come on, just oh please, oh. Luckily he will heal. He will heal. Okay, so come on, come on, just one and blast. Okay, we managed to blast through that as well. And just come on, come on, don't don't kill me, please. Oh, but the melt is definitely causing some issues. Come on, just blast, call Cthulhu. Oh, it's a Cthulhu mod specifically. Oh, I like that. I actually... Uh, my dad is... I wouldn't say a huge Lovecraft guy, but he does have a big Lovecraft book, which is a compilation of everything he wrote. Well, pretty much almost everything he wrote in his life. And right before I did Fishing Hamlet and Bloodborne, actually, I read through Shadow, The Shadow Over Innsmouth, which was a really, really fun read. Have you checked it out? Have you checked out Ainsmith? It really does hold up in a lot of ways, you know. It requires a bit of historical contextualization, as you know, you may know, you may guess, but it's an example of how, in my opinion, and there are a lot of people who have said similar things, that a good mystery is only improved with foreshadowing and knowing what's going on because it means that oh that's right I had to restart the whole thing because it's gonna suck because of all those 
This Kyra gear is going to be a pain to deal with. Well, okay. I think I think this abyss is going to be something for sure. Okay. Had to figure out how to not die with Kaza. Okay. Oh, and you can jump over that shockwave. That makes sense, but still came as a surprise to me. Thought it would have been more AOE. Okay, and one more. Thank you, thank you. Blast and take you. Thanks. Hit and swirl. Thanks and just oh goodness. Please don't kill me. One, two, more dear. I wish for actual damage was a bit more capable, but not everything in this world can be perfect. Okay. Let's see if we can get all of them in one blow and cool. Blast and uh hmm. Okay, come on, just spin and spin, and then we can just go, uh, please, one, two, okay, so how much time are we going to have for all this? Shoot, oh, please, please, okay, shoot, shoot, oh, come on, just blast, blast, okay, that was tough. So we have a little over a minute and a half for this thing now, so let's just hope we don't have them do a big... Lunging thrust. Oh, that's actually really good. That was more or less ideal. If we didn't get... Mm, there's some issues, but... That was actually quite good. Okay, so... We'll just go over that way and... Chase you around, and cool. Mm, but the... Uh -huh. Come on, two, three, and the shield's over there. Smith. Okay. I know that if you're familiar at all with Fate, they had an event recently for one of their visual and old VNs called Witch on the Holy Night, and well, Mahotsuka no Yoru, or The Magician's Night, and it, uh, among other things, one of the main characters became a servant there, and her class was basically the class that was created in the work for basically Lovecraftian entities, and a lot of people were, were wondering why. And there were some people who suggested that it might have been because she was possessed or connected to the color out of space, which I'm pretty sure didn't end up being the case, but it's... that's the last time I've heard about color out of space, which is, I don't know, maybe a bit silly to bring up in this context. Okay, so... Yeah, but Innsmouth, Innsmouth is good. I mean, in the end, you know, pretty much everything he wrote was relatively short, so... Okay, one, two, three, four... Uh, this is... Barely... Ah, oh, that sucked! That was... We just barely didn't get it. What I'm wondering is... How can I save time in the first chamber for the sake of the second? That's what's getting tough. You know, this, if I had actually gotten Winnie's bow in addition to Arlequina's scythe, this would have been easy mode, and this would have been an easy mode. Well, you know, it's more interesting this way. It is likely more interesting this way. So, take that over there and spin, spin. Okay. Oh, but mm, I'm definitely going to have to put in Bennett first thing next time, because... Uh, Let's hit these all individually as much as possible, and go over, hit all of these, and blast, and, oh, but, hmm, so we just gotta, over there, and this will also allow self-infusion, but, uh, Winnie might not be able to make most of hmm, Bennett's buff in that case, because of the, yeah, it's disappearing, that is less than ideal, hmm. Let's try. Let's try over there, then. Then we just... Ooh, please. Spin. And Lone Gale is getting very, very... Uh, top. Okay, cool. And just blast. See how we can do that. And Galloping Cross is okay as well. Shoot. Shoot. And shoot. Okay. So we have 1 minute 44 seconds. 
So this is all going to be about aggression. One, two, three, and take this as fast as possible. Please don't charge at me. Okay, two, uh -huh. three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and uh, that was really, really. <sighs> Dang it. Okay, so what that means is I have to be either, I have to be in a line with them either on the left or the right. Otherwise, they'll move too far away and I'll just, I won't be able to keep them grouped because the team doesn't have real hard grouping. Hmm. This it's a tough chamber. If I really wanted to, I could try something funny like... Well, I will just be using Toma Virgin eventually, just for its own sake. So it's not crazy crazy, but still. Hmm. Developing Frost. It's gotta keep damage as evenly spread as possible, and... Thank you, thank you. Blast, and get all those. Go over, that got... All the successful, which is nice. And then, oh, but Mask of Terror is... How has Lone Gale taken so much damage in comparison to the rest? I think, I think it might just actually just have more HP. Just straight up. Okay. Come on, come on. At least the damage is good. That's not something I can or should be complaining about. Okay, one of them is gone already. This, this could be the one, depending on how I on it. Mm. Okay, so oh, it's just all about taking them down in the right order. You know, it's like Dark Souls. Kill in order is effective. Blast and okay, we have a good amount of time. We just need to remember how to deal with them. We got close last time, so two, three, and hit. Okay, cool. We'll just hit and hmm, how do I want to? Okay, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, okay, there we go, and we actually got a little bit extra, that is very nice, two, three, and, oh, but they're all going away from me, that is less than ideal, but, okay, one of them is close, actually, that's good, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and none of them have any kind of additional buff there, which is nice. Three, four, and just hit out of the way that one, two, oh, well, come on, just out of the way, and official, thank you, and where are you? Okay, finish that out, and crush. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we have over a minute for this, so, so we lost a bit of that, let's just get out of the way, we focus on you, and it should enable us to get both of them. We're pushing you close to the wall, which should enable us to hopefully hit both, depending. I don't know. Three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, but uh, it's trouble maintaining stacks properly. One, two, three. This, it should be possible for maintaining, maintaining this pretty well, but... Mm, 14 seconds. 14 seconds. One, two. Oh, oh please. One, two, three, four, and... Ah, oh, but... Where are we gonna... Two. One, two, three, four. It... Maybe this... Maybe the team is just really bad for this chamber. I just... I could try just running the other team on the other side and seeing how it works, but... It's just... The fact that Arlequino is so bad against... Uh, the, the twin operative enemies is really funny. I guess in lore it maybe makes a little bit of sense, given that they are explicitly House of the, ha House of the Hearth operatives, but it doesn't feel too good. But it's just... Hmm... So I can't imagine that the Linny team will actually do all that much better and then get to these chambers and this chamber and Iniquitous Baptist, you just... The Linny team cannot deal with that. There's nothing you can do to that. That said, I suppose the best thing to do would probably be... I killed that run for no reason. I could have just kept going. I mean, this... It is interesting for Abyss to actually be 
a real challenge to clear even with the sort of intended five stars, the intended banner five stars. Because it hasn't been that way for me in a while. And I do like a good challenge, but it's just... It almost seems like they try to make things as anti-synergetic as possible in terms of the related setups, but I guess we'll just go through and send them through to try to get four stars on chambers two and three, and then maybe switch them around and see if that works better for chamber one. It, it's honestly kind of crazy. Honestly. Okay, because it... The last time I really struggled this much with Abyss was pretty much a year ago. Okay, and... Okay, it does seem that maybe we should be focusing on... Uh, the non at Magu Kanki in terms of pure damage. Makes sense. This one would be biggest, strongest, most adorable, but maybe it's probably more just a question of crits, but still. Okay, so... One... Two... Three... Okay, and just... Go around, and thank you, and who got hit and who didn't. It's a shame they weren't as grouped up as I might have liked, but, you know, what can you even do? What can you really do? And then we just send it Bennett. Bennett, thank you, and it's Galloping Frost that's in need of more of the beating this time. More individual attention, so to speak. So then we go over there, and thank you. Thanks, just blast him. Take that, spin, not spin, but plunge, plunge, and then we just do that, just do is and all that necessary, but actually, additional hit on the damage for the air we could make a difference, and, hmm, see how much time we have, I think we saved an okay amount of time here, but we'll see, one, two, three, and just take that, and... Blast and cool. Okay, so who is uh but uh, get over here. Get over here. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and just one, two, three, four. Okay, cool, and just one, two, three, try to not get him to move away too much. Okay, cool, and blast you, keep you in the loop, so to speak. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, oh, thanks. One, two, three. Well, that interesting. Mm -hmm, we'll see. One, two, three. Let's have a little bit of air. We might make some difference, but it's just three, four, and mm, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and why not go for that? Thank you, and just blast. We gotta. Keep this targeted. Focus fire down. To spread this damage as much as possible. Thank you. Did I even. Oh, I don't. Did I get an overcharged ball or not? That's the question. Three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. This. This is getting close. Dangerously close. And just. Oh, uh, please. Come on, just blast you. And. Come on, blast, shoot, and come on, cool, and did I do three? And one, two, three. But I'm so much as two, three, four, and oh, what? What? The, we were one second off. Wait, what? We were? How was? I'll take that. I'll take that one. Okay. So I guess unless it actually hit, until it actually hits six fifty nine, it's actually a little more lenient. I I don't hate that. It's actually nice. Okay, so we got Capellius on here. Thank you. We just gotta try to absorb that. And can we mm, swirl over there? And will you Yep, you are gonna take your shields down now. Nice. So we can just do like that. And the shield is, of course, the biggest issue. So if you can take the shield down, nothing is really a problem. Okay, so, then we 
Do that. Thank you. And blast. Thank you. And hit. Thanks. Spin. And what? Okay. Hmm. Pretend that didn't just happen. Okay. So if I just get a few stacks, well, can't be doing much. We'll just go over that way and. Wait, what? Huh? Weird. Okay, so the first time around, I can't afford to just have Kazu doing the plunging. Okay. Because it would help get some of the energy back for Bennett. Okay, so. Scroll that and just. Oh, but. Interesting. It actually didn't proc sacrificial. Ah, uh, that. Huh. Okay. Hmm. And we'll just keep on shooting. Shoot. And shoot. Okay, cool. Blast, blast. Take that, thank you. So we'll just swirl and try that out. And it's just... The attacks come out so fast with no, no real startup. It, I know it's supposed to encourage you to take actual healers, but it still feels pretty bad, frankly. Okay, so we'll just do this. Bad dip rock, that's good. That's the important thing, so we just do that, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then jump and slam down. Hope that Fab actually... Well, we actually got some of that. That's good. One, two, three, and... Uh, uh. All right. Blast and hit with that. So can we... Hmm, bend it with this and... Uh, please, just spin... Absorb that and go for you and oh, but you're kidding. It's ridiculous. Oh, whatever. We can just take that and of course that that was what rocked it. That's ridiculous. Uh, this team is not entirely suited. Luckily, I, I would imagine that the other part should be a bit easier to deal with, but I really can't tell. Then we just do that and ah, oh, please. Oh, the fab rocks have gotten so oh, out of out of commotion. And very out of line. Mm -hmm. Well, it, if it works, it works. If it works, it works. Okay, so we just spin and try to scroll that. We'll see how fast our Lakino can do the other chamber, I guess. Ah, okay. One, two, and just one. Uh -huh. That shield is not miss. Somehow that didn't hit anybody or anything at all. That is nonsense. Highest level. Okay, whatever. Come on, take that. In. Mm -hmm. And you're kidding. You're kidding. You've got to be kidding me. Well, okay. And then just all right, blast it. We have less than a minute. We have less than a minute for this other chamber. Ah, uh, okay. Let's just see how well this works. Seven opponents. Then we put that down. And, uh -huh. Okay, please. Let's just... The poison on that is an issue. Come on, just one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just the, the overloads are... What in the... You are getting so close to just dying outright. Okay, whatever. Come on, just take that and... Oh, please, two, three... What in the goddamn? Ah, horrible. Actually garbage. But it's... In theory, Usia can break. The issue is, is that the damage stacks up so fast that I can't afford to use Arlequino because she doesn't have a shield and is just generally pretty hard to deal with. This, but who's sprinting? Who's sprinting though? Nobody's really sprinting. Hmm. Okay. Let's just hope our sacrificial procs actually land correctly this time. Okay, but, oh, and that actually, that was pretty much perfect. I actually were able to use that to break the shield, which is very good. Just gotta see when and how the other parts of the shield will come back up. Is this... 
As long as the big hits aren't what's getting knocked over, we're doing okay for ourselves. That's the issue comes from what's getting messed with. Let me just go for that and come on, come on, just and okay, we got some of that down, but mm, the bandit is still still part of the issue. Okay, so one more is you're kidding, you're kidding. So we got some of that, but still. Come on, just shield is the issue. And just trying to just delay the burst to get an extra second out of it and just well, he died before he could get it off because he was in other frames. Well, whatever. Come on, if we do this a little bit sooner, maybe. But it's all about getting as much leverage out of hmm, there is bursts. DFI procs and sacrificial procs, and there are just so many moving parts in this entire team. Okay, and then just blast it and blast it through. Okay, thank you. Just, oh, but now we can try to use, oh, but of course we got Bennett there to do some of that, but uh, that's the thing, is that that means less time for Gio, less time for Winnie having Bennett buff up. Well, if we were smart with this, we could maybe make that work, but, uh -huh. this is so troublesome. Okay. And then we go over there and take some of that down. And, well, okay. One, one, two. If only deal was good, that would help things. And then just one, two, and come on. Hit and three. Okay, cool. And just got that back, so now we can spear over there. And hopefully get a little bit more time for it. Hmm. Second half. Because if we, if we can make it this work, if we can make it this work, we should be okay, but that totally lived. You're kidding. Uh, okay, alright. And then just another is over there, and blast. Oh, you're kidding. Whatever, whatever. Just die, die, die. Oh, please. Just die, die, and you're kidding, you're kidding. Well, we have a little bit more time. We have a few seconds more, but even, even still... It just ah one two three and it's just put that down and aim for you with Chevros. Take that down and see if the ring of bursting grenades will keep any of you in check. We'll see. One two three four and just one two three four and one two three four one two one two three okay. Hmm. That kind of worked. This. Let's see how well you work. Okay, and just blast. Thank you. Cool. And just, just tick out the uh, creatures. Two, three, four, and what the? Uh, you got to be kidding me. It's just uh, two and uh, two, three, and it's trying to go for the creatures, but it just didn't work all that well. And it is funny how their stands just. Uh, deal so much more. Uh, they have so much more resistance in the rub, but even still, it just. Then this is. Yeah, this. We're, we're not gonna be able to make this one work. We're not gonna be able to make this one work. There's no way now. Uh, it's just. But it's just a question of what team am I going to use then? If I can't use them, I can't use anyone really. It just. Maddening. Oh, you gotta love the knockout of Joji on you. Okay, whatever. Just have to go back through and try other teams? This. Yeah, this is really just the heart of this. Okay, and uh, her, uh, her application is not great. It, uh, come on. She isn't a. And, uh, go to hell. Come on. And now I'm... Uh, please, can I just... Take that and... Okay, cool. Uh, please. That won't do anything. It's just what teams do I want to be using to actually make any of this work? Because you can't deal with that. It... Mm, three. And 
just... Uh, I'm gonna deal with two of them draining energy, and this is actually a really, really hard abyss. Yeah, but uh, someone... I would have to be able to pyro scroll somewhat, probably. That's my opinion. Okay, well, ah, uh, please. I'm just running out of stamina in it. Oh, I'm kidding. Yeah, that chamber is just not going to work with this team. It just won't. Uh, you're kidding. You're absolutely kidding me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll just do some of that. I think this might work, but it's just so way content focused on teams that are rather just explicitly single target focused or have no ability to do any kind of wave control I and mean, crowd control, it really, really... This is not a good... I'm not good at this with this. That said, I think this might be when the Tonal Virgin team comes out. There's a very, very high chance. Okay, and just take you down. Oh, I missed with the, missed with the arrow proper, but whatever. Come on, just... Please, please, please. It's just... All the time it took her. Uh, come on, and I did not intend to do that. Okay, cool. But it shouldn't matter much. Okay. One, two... Three, and... Oh, you're kidding? Really? That... Okay. Alright. And then we actually staggered with that, which is pleasant and welcome. Just one, two, and... Scroll again. Thank you. That might have been decent rotation-wise, I guess. I don't know. Okay, and just... Yeah, but this, this chamber is actually really easy. Huh. It's funny how that works out. Then just swirl. And it... The sacrificial is just not rocking this time around. That is honestly strange. Well, that works, I guess. Come on, and... Who is going to be left? That's the question. And over there is you. Oh, thanks. Woman, oh, you're kidding. It's a really, really bad time. Okay, and then just, uh, please, just, oh, come on. So we have some of that, but, oh. there we go, so we gotta figure out something to do for chamber, that chamber. That said, I feel like the Toma Burgeon team would actually handle that one quite well. It's just a question of what we use on the other half. I guess I could try our Okino, maybe. I think shared in between these teams, but see how well this works. Let's see. Come on, just spin it. Let's see how well we can actually make that work. But it. Oh, well. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. That didn't just happen. Huh. It said actually. Before that, I should just have the Ion Field and focus on bursting down the shield with the reactions. Most likely, we'll see. Come on, just get that and spin. Spin again. I don't know why I call that spin. Well, I do, it's because I'm stupid, but well, whatever. Just one and some of that, and none of that is. Well, whatever. Come on. Bless you down. Who's there? You're there. Thank you. Take that and get more. Thank you. One, two, three, and a little bit. Okay, it took some of you. Thank you. And just bless. Take that around. And okay, that's cool. Bless. Take you down. Plunge. Plunge again. Then we just do this. And, uh, so much is left. Whether they can stagger me, hopefully they can't, but we'll see. Come on, just. Well, they completely missed. Total whip. Okay. Alright. 
Pretend that didn't happen. Let me just go over there. Thank you. And thanks. Another. Thank you. Hit. Hit. Thank you. And just. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. And just. It is interesting how that stack was. Piles up. Oh, alright. Cool. I guess. Come on. Come on. Again. Hmm. There we get that. And just one. Two. This is real trouble. Hit, hit. And hit. Another. And just get you in. Blast. There we go. How much more are we going to have to deal with? Oh. This is, this is tough. Okay. I will just... Actually, put that down there and see how we can get that down. And then we can just probably try to burst that down. And just thank you. Cool. And take that. And put more down. Thank you. Claim it. Thanks. This actually might work kind of well. Oh, well, no, it won't. Never mind. And where did, where did you go? That is certainly something. Let me do an... Oh, please. We maybe and just take that. But we need faster application, because application is not a Lakino Sporte. That said, depending on how fast we can pursue down, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and take that. Thank you, and oh, well, all right, two, three, this will be tough, to say the least. Three, and just one, two, and well, all right, that was painful. Okay, cool, and just take it. Oh, that is stupid. It's incredibly stupid. We were really close, if not for the fact that yeah, I just decided to die. Uh, okay, okay, I'll pretend that didn't just happen. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Okay, so then we... Swirl again. And just out of the way. Crowd control, thank you. Couple, both of you, and one, two, and... Huh. Just hit, and... Hmm. Both of you, both of some of you. And then just blast, and... See we can... Nah, that's... Again, we gotcha. Okay. And we do that. Thanks. It's all about keeping up. Boys buff. And headshot, not bad. No extra damage beyond that, but we'll be okay. Thank you, and just smash again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Go in. First. Skill, skill. Okay. Come on, come on. And just one. Another. Thank you. And just. This is interesting. I can't imagine that any of them were draining my energy, but. Huh. Okay. Huh. They were just way too far away to. Oh, and now you. This is really going to suck. That. I cannot put into words how much of that just sucked. Okay. Uh -huh. Is it, in theory, we should be able to get... Should be able to get three stars on this, even if the other chamber... Chamber 2 is very badly suited for the other team, but... Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, but the... Did the Spirit Breath Thorn actually do something? That is... Impressive. Oh, and we actually got both of those. That was cool. Okay, and just swirl again. Swirl again. We kind of sped up a little, so to speak. We were able to get some guys with that burst. Do a little bit of extra damage that I did not expect to be able to do. Okay, and that other hit and that little more damage there, which is also always welcome. Thank you, and just... Swirl and uh -huh, and that is where things have to be less good. Okay. So then we swing over this way and just hit, hit, and can we? Oh, but my energy needs are. Oh, go to hell! 
actually go to hell. Uh, this is so stupid. Is the buff couldn't stay up because what in the goddamn? What in the goddamn? I should, well, I, if one doesn't proc, I need to go vote because it... Otherwise, I won't have the energy back and it just... Oh, go to hell. Okay, cool. Just set it away and... Oh, you're so stupid. So stupid and just... Take that and then it, then it, then it. Thank you. Just poison, spin. Oh uh, well, whatever. Just what the, keep interrupting me. Uh, just die already, die already, please. Just take that and come on, come on. And, uh, just swirl, and plunge. And that's just what we needed. No, we needed and uh, heat this abyss. Okay, whatever. Oh, hey. Take you and take that down, take that down. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and just traverse it and blast over there is zero, four, and one, two. What the? Who the hell? Just. She should have gotten some healing from Chevros, right? That's still just instant. Ridiculous. Okay. The big thing is I need to stay. I should actually probably not use Winnie's E after the burst. I should use it before the burst, even if it would mean fewer stacks, just because it would mean just because it would mean actually getting his own energy back. And that means a lot. Being able to actually replenish energy reliably. Okay, whatever. Just take that and might also mean a bit more of the Bennett buff, but we'll see. Oh, you're kidding. Well, whatever. We will accept it out for what it was. Okay, so, take it out again and... Really? Really? Okay, well, whatever. Come on, just... I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, whatever. Just do that twice. I hope this works out. But it probably won't. Hmm, well, what the... What the... You're, you've got to be kidding. This is just... Thomas goddamn thing. You miss one proc and it... Totally ruins the entire rotation. Oh, whatever. And just... Go and swirl and swirl again. But it, that didn't proc? That didn't proc? You're kidding? What the- Ah, oh, stupid. Most ridiculous thing ever. And then we just take that before. Well, I guess that is an argument for building a little bit more EM on the game, but I really could not care less at this point. But, what the- uh, Just, whatever. Take it. One, two, and just swirl again. Okay. Ah, hate. Hate. I mean, the big thing is just- Linny is not a very good character. He's not great. Okay, but what the? Oh, but it also means that the detonation ends up a bit delayed if you mess it up like that. But it, this should be possible. There isn't all that much getting in my way. But it just oh, please just take that and shoot it. Cool, thank you. And no, no, not like that, not like that. Just one, two, and just swirl and break it. One, two, three. Well, that didn't work. That didn't quite work. Take that in. Cool. Shoot with that in. Cool. Thanks. Let's go over and seize that, I guess, but ah, just. Why do you do that? It makes no sense. Just take that in. I hate this team. I hate this fight. Ah, just. It's not a very good team, actually. It has significant issues, to say the least. Okay, well, it's just... Uh, shields are all... can't do anything. Uh, well, whatever, it just... Uh, it's just... And the damage it deals is so upsized. Uh, yeah. I do find it interesting how Arlecchino, honestly, is not especially good. She just has... Because so much of it is from 
parts of her kit that are can be mimicked by other Basically, kind of like New Viet, she doesn't buff as well as other characters, which compensates for how strong her kid is at base, but it also means it's a little deceptive. Okay, so, come on, come on, come on, shoot it. another one, thank you, just glass over there, and thank you, cool, go over get the particles, and okay, we got, we got that, that's good, but what can we actually scroll back again himself, that's the question. Thank you, and just one, two, and, and shoot, glass, okay, that did not kill us, that's good, we can just go over that way and blast both of you, and, uh, that's the, that's the thing. That's the thing. Okay, so... Get that, and who is gonna be next? Okay. And then we just... Who is... How am I gonna get my burst back? That's the question. And we just... Mm -hmm. Then we... Go over there and try to... Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. And we scroll that in. Oh, that didn't actually come for. Okay, well, whatever. What in the. Uh, so, hey. Okay. Hmm. Just one, two, and. Keep on shooting. One, two. Just stay out of the way. Pizza cutter, that's a Bolivian face. Which is. Really? You're, you've gotta be. What in the. Die. Die, die. What in the. Stupid! Go to hell! <sighs> Worst abyss that I've had in a while. Okay, whatever. Shoot it. One, two, three. Just get that. In. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, okay, well, alright, and just take that down, baby. Whatever. One, two, three. Put that down, and go, cool, I guess. Whatever. And. Cool, we'll just take that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and just... What the, why do you do that? We and... Kill up, I guess. But, mm, it just... Leaves a very sour taste in my mouth. Okay, one, two, three, and just take that. And take you. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we just can't do it in time. Uh, three, four, and just one, two. There's just too much in my way. The rotations are too inflexible for this team to actually work this out. But one tapped? Just straight up one tapped? That makes no sense. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, it has to be Toma Virgin. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Because Virgin would have a bit of fire, a bit of electric, take down the dendrit water for the pyro shield, but. Uh, this is. just so much more trouble. Huh. So that was. tough single target team. I. Just thinking, what would be best? Hmm, fine. If I ran Huta, that would take both of those, so it's just... Who could I run that would work well with Lucia there? Actually, it would just be... If all else fails, you run Furina. Run Furina Nuvia. Okay. Well, but, oh, but that usually needs Baiju, and... Uh, 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 I could try Jean, but it's a thing. Because it's Baiju in the heat on the other side, so we need... With okayish OE capability, and the other side is has to be Toma Virgin. It's nothing else that would really work. Toma and... it's... 
the Hira Baiju Shimchao and Shimchao's the right to make sure Shimchao's the right fab on him. Shimchao the right fab or not. Yep, he has the correct fab set, that's good. That's the important thing. I'll just hmm. Uh, Nahida, Baiju, you, you, okay, and then, who could I use? What team would be good that, are we actually, oh, this is so funny, gonna be using <laughs> Raiden National again, which would mean putting, yeah, because that Furuna team is not going to work all that well. But I guess the other question is... Because it's... The second half, it's... Hmm. Second half is... Largely, Fire Frost and Fulmination. The big thing is that Dendro would absolutely slaughter the Electro Shield there, which is important. But, but. Yeah, because the best kind of small AoE team I have that would work there would be. It would be Ride a National. Riding is back in a big way. And Bennett, still good. And Zhongling needs bound at the fjords. That is not what she needs right now. Oh, but no, it's good that I didn't use Newtown, because I definitely would have forgotten to switch Ballad back on her. I didn't know she had miss of right now. Okay, so. How I miss you. How I miss you. It's been forever. Then, well, I guess I could also. If I want to be funny, I could try. I could do Furina, Jean Yu, Gaming, Plunge. Oh, but eh, it wouldn't work amazing on Capellius, though. And also, it's just. It has been a while since I used Raiden. So. Honestly? Chiori was more able to fit in the Metacoms than trying to make Linny work on one side and Arlecchino on the other. It's... I mean, in the end, it's just when you have a good sub-DPS, that's what happens. Okay. Hmm. And of course, on the other side, then we go for Toma Virgin. And we hope... So all hoping that this works out. Actually, a bit more... A little bit more... Four star heavy, actually. Okay. Oh, but right, we need to. Right. We need to run left. Ah. Run, run, run. Thank you. Thanks. Just do it like that. And cool. Dodge it. Uh, thank you. Go and take that. Thanks. And just. How can we make this work? It is. Oh, okay. Thank goodness. And just. Take that and both can we there we go. It's been so long I actually forgot how these teams work. Okay, one, two, three, four, and just dodge it. Don't die on me, don't die on me, please. Thank you. Oh the mask of terror is mm -hmm. well, well Okay. And not having Xing Chao for the defense is hurting a little, but the damage is and remains. Pretty ludicrous. Okay. Alright, and just go in. Oh, well, whatever. Take that and. Not all of you were hit, which is kind of a shame. Okay, but can we just. Well, okay. Hmm. Alright. Let's just try that out. Well, okay. Hmm. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two, three. Dodge it. One. Dodge it. Ooh, oh. And Raiden just died again. Keep. <clears throat> the Raiden rotation is actually. 
So similar to our volcano is that I keep charging when I don't need to or shouldn't. It's kind of funny. Kind of. Okay, so will you get over here and how? I just give me give me what I need. Give me what I need, which is not. Oh, but you're just ah, you refuse to. Okay, whatever. Three, four, one, two, three, three, and just take that. In. What? Just the stupid. The frozen four is so noxious. Okay, well, whatever. Just okay, cool. Then we just go over this way and hope you come back. We center ourselves enough, hopefully that more stuff won't really cause an issue. But what? Could not have been time to worse. Better for them. Okay. Cool. Dodge, go immediately over there. Thank you, I think we did it, I think we did it. Okay, and just go over there. Hope that you don't get in my too much, but then we just go over and dodge it. Okay, that route is too far away. Maybe. Two, three, dodge. One, two, three. Right, it's the charge attack. I actually forgot. And one, two, and... Well, whatever. I actually need to look up wide in rotations again, honestly. It's just been so long. Okay, and then just go over. Because it's one, two, slash, one, two, slash, one, two, three, slash, one, slash, I believe, I believe. Okay, and then just one, and dodge it. Well, wait. Oh, but not being able to get the E up fast enough, that killed us. But... Durability leaves a bit to be desired, but we are dueling high damage at high speed, and that is nice. Okay, cool. Thank you. Then we just do that, and so now we can hopefully get a couple of you in here. Thank you. Cool, and just, yep, let's do that. One, two, three, go over. One, two, three, go over. One, two, three, go over, dash, one, one, dash, oh, well, I guess, I don't know what made the difference, but it clearly did not work. Okay, and then we can do that, and just go over, thank you, and kill. Okay, one, two, three, dash, one, two, three, dash, one, two, three, Dash, one, okay, well, whatever. And a little bit more. Grouping, again, did not quite work as intended, but, you know, you can't complain too much. Okay, and then we just do that. Probably try not to take you down too fast in order to get more energy back, but, mm, we'll see what happens. Uh, okay. Hmm. That's where things tend to go a little awry. The best thing is, is that we can just switch back in and out to reapply as much as we like. That is what is good about this team. And then we just go like that and take you down and take that through, take that and virgin, keep on virgining, virgin, virgin. There we go, it, it's that easy. Okay, and we move in and virgin, 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 and just... Oh, it clearly we need a little bit more, so... Come on, just do not, do not, oh please, come on, just, oh, but right, we need that and take that, hopefully, seal on the shield, stay up, cool, and then we just blast you, cool, one, one, blast, but the uh, energy is an issue, we'll see what happens, come on, come on, come on, and just, uh, this is actually kind of troublesome. But, you know, in the end it shouldn't be too bad, we'll see. I think we can still make the last part work. Oh, but what in the worst possible time for that? Go to hell. Ah, just, what in the... Stupid, stupid. Come on, just virgin, virgin. Thank you. Let's see how well we can plaster that, and healing is helpful, but still, just... Uh, thank you, and just... 
Blast it and take that. And burning is hopefully helping a little, but I really can't tell. Okay, cool. Just take that and bind you, bind you, bind you. Either way, this is not the chamber we are particularly concerned about, so it could be worse, I guess, but it could be better, too. Uh -huh. Just really, 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 okay, well, whatever. Just don't die on me, please. Okay, whatever. Uh, if we take that, we can fix some of this down, I suppose, but just, uh, how much can we... Uh, uh, can't really... Uh, just gotta make sure. Frankly, what really messed this all up was... Uh, going down against... Uh, missing that one hit with Xingzhou really screwed everything up. Okay, and then we can just go back over here. And the one last virgin did it. I hate this abyss so much. Okay. See how well this team does. Okay, well actually, that could be worse. Maybe. Hmm. Put that down and just use that, and hopefully Brock. Fab on Gaewon, we can... Okay, well, whatever. Take that and take that to Zhongling, and cool. Thank you, and just put that there, and... Thank you, and one, two, or three. Spin, I mean one, two, or three. Charge, one, two, or three. Charge, and one, charge, or not, or not. I wonder if anything has changed. Frame data wise, or what? Okay, cool. And just put that down. Oh, please. Just. Hold up. We just got constantly stunlocked. That is really just the dumbest possible thing. Okay, cool. I guess. I guess. Two, three. Hit. One, two, three. Hit. And see, it just. Missing that is. dumbest possible. Whatever. Okay, just missing that bad rock. So many issues and so many troubles. Okay, but yeah, we do need to put down Guoba first thing. We do. Okay. Okay. Ah. Then we just blast over there. Blast you down. Just try to get in the. Uh, oh, please. Take that and thank you. We can just put that down and there we are. Thanks, one, two, three, charge, one, two, three, charge, one, two, three, charge, one, charge. Okay, we got that off pretty much perfectly, which is good. Got that down, also pretty much perfectly, and then we have you, so get that and just take that down. Try to get my healing off as fast as possible. One, two, three, charge. One, two, three, charge, one, or not, or not. Okay, cool, just take that down, and who can we, who can we get? I see, just, oh, please. Can we, well, okay, as long as Ryan didn't die, we'll see what happens when we get to the next chamber. We should be in good shape. Unfortunately, there's no way to know these kinds of things until they happen. So let me just go over and here with you, and can we... Okay, all right, and just, can we, okay, cool, and just, bye, you, thank you, and, but yeah, this, danger on this is working really, really well. Okay, and then we just, come on, come on, and hit with you, hit with you, and this is pretty much where we want to switch, I believe, so, thanks, come on, just, okay, thank you, and just blast, thank you, thank God good amount of you. I should help. We'll see. Blast Virgin. Take that on you and come on, come on. Blast Virgin, Virgin. That's a spoke as far you actually. And then we can take you down. Thanks. Okay, now we can keep on going and this should be a easy enough clear. Okay, just don't want to get hit and lose my energy, but I may not have a choice in the matter. Oh, but, oh, you're kidding. Whatever, whatever. Come on, come on, just switch to you, and cool, cool, please, please. Come on, just switch. No, come on, just... Hyper Bloom's on me with the... Ah, so dumb. 
So dumb. Uh, come on, just go over. Oh, please, you're definitely hitting it. Oh, please, just get that and... As long as we get a bit more, it'll be child's play, but... Uh, just need to actually manage it. Oh, please, just... Take this down, take this down, and bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom and bloom. Okay, on you, on you, on you. Come on, just take that in. Oh, please. Come on, come on, just blast it. Oh, please. We really gotta just figure out how to make this work. Oh, please. How much time do we have to. Oh, it really. This really ended up sucking. Oh, the lack of. The lack of grouping is what screwed me over in the end, but I don't really use grouping with Dendro, or at least not on a team with heavy amounts of Dendro. On a team with actual grouping, there'd be one Dendro character, but... This is... really the dumbest thing in the world. Come on. And then we need to go over there and take you down. Thank you. And just take that in. Okay, and cool. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two, three. Charge. And one, two. Oh, that didn't quite work. Okay. Oh, whatever. We can just. Try that out and hope that that does it. We'll see. One and cool. Thank you. Just do that then. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two, three. Hit. One, two, three. Hit. One, hit. And again, that just didn't work. Okay, cool. And just take that and cool, cool. Just uh, got basically two whole minutes for this garbage, but. Uh, but the, there's no way to really group them up. They show up so far away from each other, and it uh, causes so much, so many problems for the team. Okay, well, we just uh, problems of actually getting Fab or uh, Fab not rocking is really just inopportune. Whatever. Come on, just go over get you. Come on, come on, come on. And just probably wait for some of that then. Until we can actually get the marks off. There we go, we can get the marks now, which means we just go over and buy you and uh, well we didn't tell that right. If we had waited a little longer, it would have worked. Well, whatever. Then. Come on, just blast and cool. Should I grab that and buy you? Can. Take some of this, thank you, thank you, and we got, we got a, an okay amount of time for this garbage, hopefully, we'll see. Take you down, take you down, and just go over get that, and take you, thanks, take that, and we gotta find a way to balance these out, that's the big thing. Then we just go for you, and take you down, thanks, and then we... Go over, go over, and mm, by the, ah, please, just dodge, keep on dodging, and try not to die, try not to die, and there we go, we got some of these, we just gotta figure out how to go over, get with that, and how are we gonna, okay, please, she's another, okay, and then, okay, cool, and here we go, now she get some of that on with, mmm, cause that, if we make this work, I think version could take this down faster. We'll see. We'll see. It should. It should. It should. Okay, so now we can just hopefully brute force this down with the remaining time we have left. I don't know. We'll see. We can get that and thanks to you for a bit of extra energy and that was troublesome, but it worked out in the end. Now we got just a tiny bit left. Damage up, and uh, we'll see how well this works. Gotta help the Virgin team can take down the other, other one. Okay, cool. And just take that and take you down. Thank you. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Take you down. One, two, three. Take that other one. There we go. Well, here's we are 
having some minor timing issues. Possibly. There we just get over and see who we can cut up. Thank you. One, two, three. Slash. One, two, three. Oh, but the overloads are real issues now. Well, whatever. Come on, just keep on going. The uh, interruption resistance on Raiden's burst is definitely helping out a little. Three, and just one, two, three, go, one, two, three, go, one, go, okay, that worked, it's definitely a, uh, sort of poise, standard, I what it was called specifically, the whole, oh, good lord, uh, stupid, stupid, whatever, at least it didn't waste too much time, and just blast you, blast you down, and there we go, and we have almost about 40 extra seconds compared to where we were before. Okay, I probably should have Toma do the particle catch, but whatever. It doesn't matter all that much. Okay, we just do that, and come on, just take that down, and cool, cool, and just uh -huh, take you down, and take that, try to proc that, and boom. Good damage, good damage, thank you, and just take that down, and oh, but the... Uh, uh, but... Uh, that is some trouble. Trouble. Mm, okay, interesting, interesting. That's some damage down, but you can still. Uh, the only way we can do anything with that, so we have to really, really try hard there. Well, alright, alright. Just blast. Thank you. Rock that back. Thanks. And then this, this should be alright. This should be more than good. Yeah, this. The damage is quite high. We can just take you down with. Uh, well, that didn't quite kill you. Yeah. More than enough time now, hopefully. We'll see. Then we just go over, take you down, and blast it. Finish off with the Toma Burst. Okay, so we did. We did manage to get it to work out. We did manage to get it to work out. It was narrow and painful, but we got. Uh, we got all rewards. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Hmm. I just. See some. Well, I guess I can. Hell, I can actually go to. <laughs> I can actually go and check out Ramuri now. So there are 19 more Hydrocula I need want to get. I also have... I don't need to do that. I feel sorry for Arlecchino and Vinny. Because the only chamber they were actually able to get was the first one. It just was not in the cards today. So, I've got... Since it's the first, well, since a new month came around, we got a few more of these, so I will do a couple of rolls, probably, okay, Let's see something. Right now we have 54 pity on normal banner, so let's take us to 59. Can't imagine we'll get anything too special, but... No, always stay hopeful. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Maybe we can get a purple. That would be lucky. Nope. But, you know, every little bit is a little bit closer to... Another purple. Nice. A little bit closer to soft pity, so... Oh, well, you know, it's five star glitter, so... Can't complain too much. Okay, cool. Goodbye. So in that case, we got a little bit more actually, so we condense that resin and do a bit of blue line grinding. Okay, cool. Yeah, that Toma Burgeon team actually worked really, really well. It is just so, so funny for Toma to actually be meta in a certain and somewhat limited sense. 
equity, equity, and that. Oh, but we don't have enough for... Actually, we... You know what? You know what? Screw it. If we get to do it, it'll make the numbers look better. Let me keep better tracks. I need... 19 more of those big crystals. Okay. Get Navia up and then... Grind more equity teachings for a reason I... Cannot precisely disclose. Okay. Got a lot of those. Got a lot of those. Okay. Yeah, yeah, more Navia. Okay. Finally! Navia's talents at 9, 9, and 9. Okay. Hmm. You know, this being tougher with the relevant characters does make it easier to fill time, but it's not everything. And we. Our money spending mission is complete. Quest bounties, cooking, total furnishings, just items. I can, oh, I, I can wait a little bit until tomorrow when I do crystal event. Okay. And then three seventeen, and yeah, I will need many more of those. Okay. And a bit of uh, hydro crystal fly and. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Either way, this is. Maybe it would have done a little bit better if I'd been using. The eyes burst, or at least a golden troop set. That would significantly increase the team's damage, but. Especially in the second chamber, we were so. It just, especially in the third chamber, actually, just wasn't close at all. Okay. Oh, just take that down. Thank you. Oh, but the, the elemental application is what's doing it. That's why. This. Hmm. At least I don't really have to worry about energy with this thing. But still, it's just. Wow. It's not great in Abyss, but it's really, really good for grinding. It's interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. Then we just go right back through. Uh, cool downs are more than good enough for this. Oh, but I did not mean to do that. I, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two. Okay. Yeah, because. Keeping Electro Aura up is not as reliable, especially in group situations, so... Hmm. It's tough. There we go, one, two, three, put that down. Oh, but you're supposed to not get her... Okay, whatever. Come on, come on, two, three, four, don't kill me please. Three, four, or not. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So get hit by some rush missiles. That's whatever. Okay. Going a few more times. Hope so. I hope I don't get killed. Hmm. Okay. All right. Then I'll over one, two, three. Yeah, decently close, and just get that oh, a little bit back, it should hopefully be helpful. Oh, but I... right, and... I mean, I guess we could just continue the normal swing for the sake of it. Because it works cool. Okay, well, alright. Heal a bit, and thanks. So I don't use that burst for anything else. Okay. And then... One philosophy of equity. After this, it would be bosses, and then what else for everything? Okay, and we managed to refuel that correctly. That's good. Three, four, 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four. Okay. From work to work. Well, it's simple and still having some energy issues. Interesting. Alright. And then. Okay. Alright. Wondering I wanna do this. So if I just heal up real quick, I can go over and head back to Remuria. Which is oh but right there Javier should be here now. So we waited a day after, and I think it's daily reset related, but either way. Javier is supposed to be somewhere in the Aquabus station. I have a relevant quest related to him. That's what I'm going to try to pursue. We completed some of the stuff, but it just isn't here, and I'm wondering whether it's a time of day issue or something else entirely. By the way, this is the team we're going to be using. It's got a lot of nice recent characters, so I just want to see... Like up top, I'm gonna get a character, sort of a quest presence notification. Is it the right time of day? Is it the wrong time of day? This is what I'm wondering about. Let's check up one more time, go up one more floor and see what happens, if anything. And okay, he is not here, so I presume that if there's some other condition I failed to meet, it's entirely possible that it might just be a matter of waiting until daytime. But if I go down, go down through both, it'll pass over them. I don't need to stop in the middle. But it's just... There's supposed to be a quest. You wait until the guy from... Not Javier, the adding machine guy, the computer guy, but he's simply not here. I should just look it up real quick. Oh. It's the... Garcia. Garcia. That's his name. How do you unlock... Somewhere in... Where his life lies in daydreams beyond space and time. And you have to complete a gift of compatibility, but we did. That is... Really quite strange. He's just not showing up. Huh. Daily reset. Two keys to sub. Key items. Principia Arithmetica. The third echo. And I've done that a couple of times. Wait for a daily reset. Now I'd have to complete Petricor quest, but... Huh. Principia Arithmetica. They aren't present. Don't need to... This is... Maybe it's taking it into account from... Last time is in the new update and it just isn't paying attention to... Forgot the other times I did that quest because in that case... I'll just switch it back to Sumeru from random for now because I might have all the achievements but if... Oh, this is going to be obnoxious. This is going to be absolutely obnoxious. But, you know, whatever. There are worse things in the world. So in that case, we will go back to Sea of Bygone Eras, which right now is at 63% progress. Gone through the Nishion Yani. Gone inside the sort of old... This is the right. Yeah, we've gone inside the old palace in Capitolium. Got all the teleport waypoints, so the only thing left is to clear out remaining areas around here. Okay, cool. Came to an ancient civilization. So it's almost entirely just going to be swimming, so let's actually put our dedicated swimming team back in. I should take. 
brief bathroom break. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wrong thing. Okay, back. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we got a new that's nice. Now that we've restored that. Grotos of Capitolium. And the uh, road, I believe, or slope? I think it's slope. Yeah, whatever. I don't really know that. Requiem grant them eternal rest, and may the light ever shine upon them. Dazzling Icor once ran through the waterways of the Great Lake in the north, carrying just some gladness all across the high sea. Pax Ramuria, a wondrous time of glory and hope. Alright. Okay. Hmm. 
So I will simply continue onwards. Oh, we got another town trial to do here. It's interesting that it, this does not seem to actually lead to anything. Can I actually get... And I can't even go there. Okay. Hmm. We already completed our score search subquest. Seen within 40 seconds. Oh, that's really cool. And I think it only shows up now, showed up now that this is complete. I don't remember seeing it when I first came here, but we can just go up the golden pathway. That's cool. Oh, and... Right, there are some of these underwater. I don't see them all that often, but... Then... Oh, hi, Scylla. Hello. And it's just right over there. Mm -hmm. I think that before anything else, I should just check inside the tops of those big pipes. Because I know there were some Mora capsules and other things inside them. So it'd be better to do it now as opposed to possibly forgetting them later. Got some already, but I don't think I got them all. So it would be good to check. And here is a little bit of that, and those are most of the pipes over this way. And so there's a Mora capsule. Let's just grab. Oh, oh, hi. Oh, one of the big sea angels. Oh, well, oh, I mean, sea hairs, sea hairs. Or are they? I wonder if. I wonder what they might have been in another language if they were supposed to be sea angels or something. It's possible. Then, and as basically as soon as it's back, we get another blade to toss along, and I don't think that was added by that. Let's send that Celia along. Hello, hello. And where are you going? Oh, we got two xenochromatic octopuses in the same place. That's honestly the first time I think I've seen two of the same kind right by each other. Because it's just for panache and detail, rather than, you know, providing multiple kinds of entities to take things from. Okay. This one is nice and broken. And play that string. So how much more is some stuff down there? How many others are there to go pick up? And this is getting kind of crazy. Where do I go? In? Oh, here we are. We got... Oh, and of course that makes somebody else show up. Go ahead. Weave this world. But it is interesting that that would have been totally optional to engage with, because we'd already dispatched... We'd already claimed our treasure. We didn't need to... Actually, all that is... They seem to just be normal pillars. That over there, those are tubes. So again, before... Before I forget, while it's on my mind, I should check that out. It's right above the Collegium Phonoscorum, which implies that... Sounded score. I guess that would be sort of... Academy of Music, I suppose. And yet there... Is there... Okay, there was just... A tiny investigation point in there. That's not nothing. Then in here is... Let's see... Top, more nothing, it seems. Check those two out. Over here is while they're still. I want to talk to him. I want to see. The issue is, is that you can't swivel him around entirely. So you can't get all of his dialogue points, which, at least without waiting for him to go around, it seems. That said, he doesn't seem to have all that many, is it? When you use his current summoning, you can mouse over various things to try to get some dialogue, but... Great Palace, Waterway, and Great Lake in the far north. Let's swim in those waters. Right to Fontaine. Let's change around how we've purified it, since Bathius, or more accurately, Phobos itself is gone. Exists to the symphony, wondrous creatures, the power of music itself is their source of sustenance, evolved in the depths of the sea. So let me just... Anything else, or... It's not new. So whatever his dialogue is, it seems we've exhausted it. So we can just leave this place and continue checking out the remainder of the tube. So we got that, and then I think uh, this one up top. Check inside this part and up top as well. Don't think there'd be anything from below, but it's gonna be ready for surprises. And it'd be cool if like we wait those gave sigils, but. The big thing is that 
I saw and found out that unlike every other sigil shop, you can actually get weapon upgrade materials from the Fontaine sigil shop, even as in permanently at a less preferential exchange rate in the same way you can do it with Mora, which is entirely new. I don't think they've changed that with older ones. I'm pretty sure they haven't, but it is actually really, really nice because, among other things, I'm pretty sure that equates to basically more resin in the sense of... That is probably, that's probably the most resin-efficient item to buy. I think. So I'll probably end up doing that, especially since there are... There are a few more Fontaine weapons, for star wise that I do need to level up. I do say that I do kind of find it interesting that... Arlequino Scythe uses... Fontaine weapon materials, given that it isn't properly a Fontaine weapon. Though to be fair, Poor Star did the same thing with Inazuma stuff. When it is very plainly a Fatui weapon, or a Snesnaya weapon, or however you want to split those hairs. And even more recently, Talking Stick in the new Battle Pass, the new Battle Pass Claymore. Its lore is all about Nautilon, so you would presume it's a Nautilon weapon. To the extent it can be called such a thing, and before we have not one character says, yeah, not one is now. Now that we have two Snaznaya characters, if you count Arlequino as a Snaznaya character instead of a Conrad character, which I suppose I do. She has a Snaznaya vision. I wonder what a Conria vision design would look like, or if there even would be one. Because we've gotten... Well, the big thing is that even though Nuviet doesn't have a vision at all, he still has a vision icon. Representing the fact that he's Numa and Fontaine. So, I wonder what kind of icon they would use for eventual true Conria characters, so to speak. Unless they wanted to cop out in a really funny way, which I would hate, but also kind of appreciate because of how stupid it would be. Which could be just making it so that any playable Conria character has a vision from some other non-Conria nation, and then just sidestep the issue entirely. I could see them doing that. Though to be fair, I also doom posted about Dentro maybe never actually being added as a playable element, and well, look where that went. It's not the best element in the game. Arguably, you know, Hydro does have its own case to make. But, but... It is possible, given that it has been established by now, I'm pretty sure, that the Traveler touched down in Conria, and how that four-pointed star emblem is associated with a lot of Conria things, that that might just be the Conria emblem, and the Traveler might be a secret Conria character, to an extent. I, I, would, I assume that if they ever made the Traveler sim similar playable, I guess it raises the question of you know, if they made Traveler, the Traveler sibling playable, you know, either we mean depending as a separate character instead of just... Because one way they can do it is just once the story's over, and, or at least once getting the Traveler sibling back happens, assuming it happens during the Tabat arc, because it might not even. They might just add a toggle, that is one way they could do it. But if they didn't, and they made them rollable free... I would expect them to honestly just be our first true Conria character. Okay, so... For the first area, I went around sort of in circles, because it was around this central area. Very plainly, and all kind of funneled in. It was kind of all declined to the middle, but this... This has its own sort of clusters, and... There's a center kind of here, and a center kind of over here. It's... Like a binary star system, honestly. So I think going around Alta Semita and then up top here, there are a few things underneath. There's a little cave in here. That said, I don't know what might be there because it was mostly related to the world quest. And that has been done for some time now. So. Oh, and. Well, that was easy. You know, can't complain too much. So, 
That's the question is, what could... Oh, there's a there's a current down here. Interesting. So what is... I assume we just have to swim? Big thing is, there doesn't seem to immediately be a... And I don't presume I can break these with... The manta ray boys, I haven't tried that in a while, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it doesn't work. It's time to find a crab or a jellyfish. Well, there's a jellyfish right over there, and actually... Hmm, there's also a set of enemies that I can just... Blow up with these fun bombs. I do find it kind of funny and interesting that... Though to be fair, I suppose you could say that... The music abilities here kind of take... The place of a new xenochromatic ability. But even so, especially given that Furina had her seahorse, I do kind of wish they'd added a final xen xenochromatic ability. That said, I guess we could maybe get it with Mount Asus. I was just really, really surprised, and when I heard it initially from leaks, of course, that Remuria would be the final Fontaine area in the 4.0 patch cycle, I was really surprised, because I really, really expected it to be... Mount Asus up in the northwest of Fontaine. You know, given that we literally got Mount Asus East, I figured, because, you know, we got west slopes of Mount Automniki, and then a couple patches later we got east slopes that it was preluding. You know, we'll get west Mount Asus or central, whatever, once we get... once Asus comes out in 4.6, and then it didn't come out in 4.6, and I was more than a little blindsided. I actually kind of like that. I don't like, again, it's just such a weird move that I kind of respect the bizarreness of the choice. Leaving the mainland incomplete during the patch cycle, leaving it for later. Because they added, to be fair, there's barely anything here besides Bida on the interactive map. It's basically empty. There are enemies, but very few chests. It's kind of silly, but cutting back on primo income, this patch is a reason which I can't say too much about at the moment, but... The information is out there for those who are interested. And then, Chasm is arguably there too, but it's set apart. I guess the interesting thing is the implication that, given that they've kind of left... Well, actually, I guess if you want to kind of do a pattern, odd number regions have their nail area added sort of separately. So we haven't gotten to Mondstadt areas, new Mondstadt areas since Dragon Spine. That was the most separated one. And then Chasm came a patch cycle later. And that was... Wait, no, that's nonsense. So it... Well, I guess you could do it in groups of two, where it's, you know, two where it came, kind of. Okay, one where it... Two where it came, kind of separated. And then for Inazuma, we got Surumi as part of the normal patch cycle. That's where the nail is, quite plainly. You have the Irmin Soul around hereabouts, and an obvious crater in Samara we got. The obvious crater here, and the oasis you have. The tree implying, at least to me and to some other people, that the nails were used to make the primal constructs, which given that an attack that some of them share is making a big spike drop down from the sky, I think that's kind of the confirmation we'll get. Then here, I guess, they're making us wait again, so I guess not what would make us wait again. That's just now I would have it during 6.0 patch cycle, which could make sense, given that Snizna is basically close to endgame. The question is just whether Conria would be the final chapter, or... W and if Celestia would come that year too, or if Celestia would be its own year thing, where we got various wrap-ups to the story of other regions, but that... It's far away enough that I really can't make any kinds of predictions one way or the other. It is what it is. I do... It's kind of interesting that we have some Romeritan flowers down here. I guess it makes sense because it's... And a few barrel conks. Kind of like how you could find a few Songo pearls, mostly at the start of Enconomia. Hmm. Okay. I'll just... Romeritan Flower and Romeritan Flower have got to be kidding me. That's enough yapping and ba baseless speculation about lore. I'll just... Not even about lore, about, about patch cycles. Okay. And a lot of those, so let's... Bomb is better, but let's switch anyway. 
Come on, come on. Are you gonna come at me? Come at me. Come at me. Spin a little, spin a little or not. Okay, if I'd done it a little earlier, I would have messed that up and wasted my time. So oh, there we are, there we are. Break you down one more time. Thank you, thank you. Jessen's crystal and Transoceanic Pearl. Give me a little bit more. Are we Okay, and right, there's a capsule up here, so it's good we went for that. It's just we need to cling to the edge, basically, to make sure we find everything. So if we... The best way to do this would be going up to the top and working my way back down, maybe? Give me the most perspective in a literal sense. Okay. Got a lot of this fast-swimming bass. With that said, I'm... No, I think... Because I know that the tall male characters run the fastest. The tall female characters are the most efficient at swimming stamina-wise because of their animation. But I think the tall male characters are still faster swimmers. And frankly, we don't need to worry too much about stamina conservation preservation due to all of this. Hmm. Cool. Can I... That over there was obviously gonna... Oh, that was really overzealous, had basically no warning at all, I just... And it's still pushing me back. Okay. So in that case, just swim along along this edge, but oh, right. The edge is poorly defined, the barrier, and... I wonder what they might be testing with this area. Whether they might be testing something like true free flight. Given that all these individual areas have their own individual board, own individual boundaries separate from the quote unquote complete boundary of the area, it's very interesting, frankly. I wonder what they're. wonder what they're cooking up. Oh, I just. I just can't go that high. That is. So the boundary is more like this. Interesting. Huh. It's kind of disappointing, but. I wish there was a better way to show that on the map. It honestly makes me miss one of the few strong points of the 3D maps that they did in Breath of the Wild for Zelda. This seems to be... Well, that's just a bright spot. I don't think that's indicating anything boundary-wise. So can I get up here? Oh, I just... That little promontory is completely off-limits. Okay. Actually, with that... Maybe more of a precipice than a promontory? You know, I don't want to look more things up, especially things that aren't game related right now. So I guess over here is. And yeah, that. It's just to enable consistency. And the big thing is, is that they didn't need to have that up there, given that they had. If we couldn't reach this area, we just show the cave. Well. That said, we can go down under a bit farther, because th that was where the bees were. We just can't go above it. It, But it is interesting confirmation, because I did wonder for a while, or really more just assumed. I assumed that the world borders and the boundaries were entirely horizontal, because into that proper, there are no vertical boundaries. If you fall too well, it's not the void, but that's its own kind of thing. You just get teleported back. That's not the same... Same as getting moved back, really. You can void out and get teleported back to where you were before, but you can also... You know, if you do a super jump glitch, there's no limit on how high you can go. There's nothing that really stops you. So it was interesting to me. You know, because last time when I was going up top, going over here, I saw how high I could get, and it had me go back down. I was trying to get over here to the top of one of these mountains, and it just said, nope, nope, you can't do that. Not allowed to do that. Start the challenge, and dodge bolt torrent, and dodge dirty fruits until you reach the terminus of the ocean current. Well, that's a really cool. We've gotten a lot more creative with these, I think. The terminus of the current. And this... Can I, okay, and it shows the, shows the icon, but there's no prompt, so very clearly I can't actually... This is kind of similar to that one flying minigame from 
Valorian Mirage, which is interesting because there was one other mechanic that I thought was Valorian related. I did not want to do that. That, and I can't just quit out. Well, I mean, it worked. Okay. You could hit a maximum of eight, which is hilariously lenient, actually. But you know, I guess I needed it. This is the question right now: is if I went back, would I be able to repeat that challenge? You know, this is almost certainly just a waste of time, but I feel like checking anyway. Nothing else we could- oh, but- Hi, Scylla! That's right! That's right! There we go. Let's actually use that. Hello. Hi- how you doing, big guy? How you doing? And we can just spam this to keep on going. We'll stop once we hit an obstacle. It's interesting how they have those quick time events things. So there were three, there were two music-related ones, and one rock-related one is in Breaking Rocks, not rock music, during the World Quest, and I never, I never failed any of them, and what I'm wondering is, what would have happened if I had? The music one, I think things would have just repeated, but if I had hit an obstacle, if I'd hit Protruding Rock here in the Inishimiyani, I wonder how they would have dealt with that, so to speak. Can that actually... This is way higher than that. I know that the coloring gives some information as to topography, but it's not perfect. So that was kind of a... Honestly, a pretty big surprise to me. So I think there were only... 14 or so more hydroculi for me to get here. Let's see. Okay, there are 50, because... I looked it up, and apparently there were 55 out of this patch. By the way, I think we should be able to get to max statue level today. Well, depending on whether I actually max them out or not. But I, I should be able to. Nothing is meaningfully standing in my way. Hello there. And also just the fact that we got explicit confirmation that the icon we're using the golems is mentioned in earlier... Oh, hello there. And then will you... Wait. Oh, so that's a larger puzzle down there. That was the one with the Hydroculus in it. This is a confirmation that the i in the Golems is actually Primordial Seawater, which... is interesting because it both explains that the reason the Golems were able to basically absorb people was... Well, just... Dissolution of primordial seawater, like happened during the Fontaine Quest line, and also just. <sighs> that other areas, people from other lands, would not have been able to become golems if. even if they had gone out and conquered other places, they would have been. just remained in human form, or. if they even would have tried to turn them into golems, which. given how. Uh, the chauvinism of Remuria is, or at least the people like Bathius in charge of it, because Ramus was sleeping and not really paying attention to what Bathius did. Pretty important plot point in terms of, you know, why Remuria fell and how it did. But, hmm, let's just see. And that over there is, yet yeah, that was where we went before, and, and then we're going under where we couldn't have gone before. That's why it does what it does. So the big thing is... How far down do I want to go? In terms of the lower level. Just go down around here and leave... Sort of stuff on the ocean pathway for later? Because there is that one... Ocean current challenge that I'll have to deal with. And I think that could... Clear out a good amount of stuff there. But that is... It's not the pathway proper, so I can go there right now. Should get this before I forget, or lose track of this. Let's go down and... Thank you, did that... Did we get the treasure? We did not get the treasure yet, so that is new to me. Nice. So again, how many... We've got... 52 rolls saved up already. And here we've got... I believe we have... 35... It's 20 per... 39 over there, so we're already... We can already reach Soft Pity for one out of Corrine and Sigwin. 
I think I'll have to win 50-50 for at least one of them. But I should hopefully have enough. Assuming one is going to be on the second half of the patch and the other is going to be on the first. Which, given that the last time they released... I can't think of the last time that they released two five stars in a single patch and had them running concurrently. I think they might have done that with Nilu and Sino, but memory betrays and it's been some long years. Still don't have Nilu. I went for Sino for various reasons, but I don't entirely regret it. He's fun he's fun enough, but Nilu is Nilu is undeniably just very, very strong. Stronger than a lot of people, myself included, expected her to be. Which, and I'm sure I'll get her eventually, but it's just a matter of waiting, really. Waiting for her to come back, and back at a time where I have enough Primo saved up that I don't have to worry about choosing between getting her and getting whoever comes up next patch. Because that's the thing, is that I presume that we- oh, well, we should have gotten this, maybe. Eh, the octopus ability is easily the worst, so it is what it is. Is that... I believe that Sigwin and Corinne, when they come out, will put us at the same amount of total new characters for the 4.0 patch cycle as we got in the 3.0 patch cycle. And I think Mahoyo has said in the past that they wanted to sort of standardize the number of characters for patch cycle even if it varied the sort of pace of release within that patch cycle. So I would assume that much like Valorium Mirage is in 3.8 was, that 4.8 will be a rerun-only patch, which would give me, give me some time to either, maybe both, of catch up on characters that I don't already have, depending on who's on, or just save up for not one. Ideally both. Ideally both. But, you know, you know, the best laid plans of God and man often go awry, you know. Man plans, God's life. Man plans, God laughs, as they say. And, oh, we got two of those in here. I feel like there might actually be some like that in Fontaine proper that I saw months ago and just forgot about in my infinite wisdom. Okay, we got that, so just take you out. And we matched it both because of the slight angle, but, oh, the treasure chest blocked that. Treasure chest blocked it again. Okay. Downside of a big hitbox. Okay. Because that time with the Warrior, I'm about to actually get Yule if you... Heretically, I have still not actually gotten to 90 just because... You know, poor Yule, she's just... She's just not good anymore. She was only really ever meta when she came out, and... Back when damage numbers were much, much lower, and... With all the inflation that's gone on since... Our girl just could not keep up. Truly one of the foremost tragedies of her time. Better than five most, maybe. But I... Hmm. And that down there, I do need to get that. Big thing is, is that four out of the six five stars and five out of the six characters, though to be fair, a Chronicle banner for Inazuma would not have any higher chance of getting Kirara. For the six five stars I have are all Inazuma. It's Kokomi, Ayato, Ito, and Ayaka. It is still kind of hilarious that I don't have Ayaka after all this time, all this time of her being. Well, actually, she's, she's not really meta anymore. You could try running her with Furina, but it, it'd be silly. Big thing is, got a little bit over there. And then of course there's Nilu and then Kui. Though to be fair, but besides, besides, so this is, oh, on the underside of this stalactite. Puffer fruit within 60 seconds, well, we can just whip this. It's alright. Oh, but, can I, interesting, there we go. I don't know if that hit us. Okay, just, boom. Last one is, just one over there. And there we go, and, oh, it spawns in this a little niche in between this little interstice. That's fine. Then down there is... It's right between those, it seems. Before I forget about it, I should... 
figure out how to do all of these guys. So what are you? Way to gather. Octopus without being discovered by the Wonder Chime Flower. So what is movement when the Wonder Chime Flower turns around? Oh, it's literally red light, green light. Red, red light, green light. Guys, Squid Game. I didn't say that. Turns around, we just have to pause it. And discovered. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Turn around again. We hit play. Thank you. Sure, octopus is moveset. And we have to do these both at once. This is actually really cool. And that one sort of race, sort of octopus finish line over on the other. And I wasn't close enough. That's ridiculous. So I need to follow it pretty closely. I don't like that. The range on the shockwave being that small is kind of silly. Oh, but pulling it down is annoying. Then we can do that, and it's only really when it's completely turned around that it... And see, well, because those are basically supposed to be eyes, it seems. You see from kind of an angle, or what? And then you... You gotta turn around or okay. Getting close. Go for the other ones, so and we just send that through her. Oh, and once you get real close, you get really, really tricky. Fun, okay. And the other one on the other side. Are we gonna be able to repeat that challenge at a harder harder level or let's see. Because you over there seem to be. Aha! Uh -huh, okay. Yep, so this is clearly going to be a bit more difficult one way or the other. Pro definitely, probably a bit shorter intervals and probably a bit more unpredictable too. It was nasty how when I got to the end it turned around faster. Okay, now it's getting more erratic at a quicker rate. Just got to be. Click on the gun. In a little over a week there's going to be the music event and I'll be able to do... The rhythm game stuff, which should be quite fun. We'll see. I'm not messing this up. So I wonder how, because it's turning around clockwise, so... In theory... Are they clapping? And... Oh, now they're... Okay, it's just showing that they're dancing now. So now it's all chill. Cute. Do I like how... Most new areas have some kind of... New cute creature. Feels to the... Hawaii side of me, which I don't know. It's not a big side. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three, four, five. And before you get your beam out, and 20 within 60 seconds. So, given that we got that ability around here before that, I wonder if the ability will be relevant at all to the actual challenge, or if it's just, just about eliminating the enemy. It seems to be. Unaccosted. That said, if we just went and activated it, it wouldn't matter whether the enemies were around one way or the other, so. I don't know. Oh, we missed that. Funny. And that's gone. Didn't even get to keep the jellyfish. It's kind of sad, honestly. Some of those are broken. We should actually go along that road when we go back to Capitolium. Should be 13, 12 more. Or a capsule. And another one of those. I assume this one will have an enemy in it. Oh, actually just three crystal flies. They were nice to me this time. So in that case... I guess I could try getting them now. I wonder if some kind of invisible wall will show up and prevent me from getting the Oculus. I could see that. Yeah, it's, it is interesting how... Though, to be fair, it looked like a path that was mostly the consequence of the map. It's really more just a matter of it being a seabed. But I guess you could say that implies a possible expansion of the area. It still wouldn't hold my breath. I feel like it could maybe connect to, actually, Conria proper. But it depends on how, because there is no real true geographic clue to where it is, other than that it's, you know, kind of by Fontaine, but it's kind of in this area, 
seems like a lot of it might be under Chenu Vale somehow, which in the name of the end, and especially since they give us the Nave Flight, which explicitly is a sized up version of the House of the Hearth of Ruins over here. That is pretty much confirmation that yes. And to be fair, we already have that with statements about how long it took from yeah, from say mod set to the way that the game world and its size is an abstraction. There's still a decent amount of internal consistency most of the time. And the doorway to doorway to Conry is right here. Put it same general area, but I guess it depends on how big Conry is supposed to be, but it could be really cool if it would be insane if Conry is somehow connected to Enconomia and Ramuria and maybe the Chasm, and that it actually links together all of these instanced areas. Because given that all of these are on one singular map, finding a way to retroactively get all of these on one map would be a stroke of utter genius. I don't see it happening, though. Because beyond just being a lot of work, it would require Conrad to be absolutely massive. So we'd have to stretch all the way over here. But at the very same time, I, mean, I guess it depends on whether Conrad would have been using sort of abyssal teleportation technology. But it's stated in the Enconomy of Questline that there were ambassadors to Enconomy, and that's part of why there are ruin machines there. Is the question whether it was conquest or aid or what, but uh, have to find a way to get. It'd be really funny if they just added another gigantic, completely empty under underwater sea that you can just swim through if you want. But you know why would you? Or they just have Scylla over there, and he just sends you through. He just uses his ability to. Just Mass travel through that giant underwater, underwater expanse. I really don't think they do that. But it would be incredibly cool. Especially since. A lot of the underground instance areas do hint at. There being some unexplored area of them. You know, this sort of depths of Enconomia where, unless it's actually just Bathysmal Bishop's Arena, where Urabashi originally came, well, quote unquote, originally came from, in terms of being in Enconomy, his first resting place in Enconomy before he started being, you know, a god proper, as you might say. And then. Yeah, just. We have Underground Chasm, and it's a matter of what we get linked and where, and, you know, again, the g killing disappears at the bottom of the Underground Chasm to parts unknown, and then it... And, of course, we have this part over here we don't have. We don't have a Mondstadt instance area, though it might be under the Unnamed Islands weird platform, or maybe... Maybe even Thousand Winds Temple. Possibly. At the very least, it's obvious that we'll get more over there. And, oh, interesting, is this actually... Is this locked off? Yeah, we can get that now, but... It seems pretty clear that we have to send it through. This flower is like a soccer goal. Oh, that... Well, that's cool. Zoom all three at once. And... Oh, wow, nice. That was fun. Let's get over here. Let's make sure we see where the paths cross, and... Boom. Oh, then go that way with a, mm -hmm. then just go in. First try. So where will this sort of slingshot send me then? Where will it take me? They're just up top. Not to anything in particular, but somebody lost that ability. I assume it might be in part Maybe just the catapult sort of counting as being on land in the code somehow. Because when you get out of the water and go on land, it does count as... It does make you lose your ability. You have to get a new one. It's possible. Let me test that out again. If I go in, will it... 
Yep, okay. I see. Is that other catapult over there? I want to check it out again real quick. See where it sent me specifically. Little, little brief mechanics test. Oh, too. Right, it was over there. So now the big thing is, basically cleared out everything here in. To be fair, Ulta Semita should probably be this area gradually in general. So I think I'll go over to the Collegium next. And now we're at 76% explanation. Okay. Hmm. Just want to check again. How many hangouts do I have left? I have. I've got. Toma, Toma. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 13. Okay. So that should be a decent way to <laughs> fill up time next patch when they don't add a new area and it's relatively dead. Because I do want to catch up with those just for the sake of it anyway, so. That'll be a project, so to speak. That. Okay, we got that and. So you're spitting into that. You should just go to some of you. Thank you. That octopus should be able to go and play now. Time to rock. Zinian. Zinian moment. That's over there. And much more is oh, interesting. Is that stopped by? Let's we just deal with this now. Oh, but that's sort of harmonizing one and. You have to unlock all these for that chest to open up. So, just gotta rotate this to. Which one? Which one? Is there a core around here, or are we just gonna have to brute force it? Seems like. Might be. Can't precisely tell which one is. They appear to more or less be saying the same thing. So how do I wanna how do I play Shockwave? This is kinda tough. It's a little confusing, so if I spin it around it. Well that Well I guess all I had to do was switch it. It didn't really matter. The only real clue there, I suppose, was just the fact that it was initially wrong. If there were two options, it was just one of them had to be right. So actually, did I... Let me check. I did take all the four storm artifacts and right. The last thing that was leveling up was Shiroz's Noblesse set, currently being held by Aloy, which... Having a good deal more energy recharge should help the function of Shiroz related teams in a number of ways. And this also has a good amount of crit rate, so more fav procs reliably, but... I don't know, we'll see. In the end, it... The Arlecchino team ended up being more of a gimmick than I might have liked. The big thing is just, she's not a great user of Vaporize. And that does, because she has a special ICD internal cooldown on her attacks, and it just gets in the way of some things. She can't use Vaporize like Hu Tao does, where Hu Tao just vaporizes every single charge attack and uses it as basically her main damage buff. Okay. So over there on that side is... Well, actually, that's basically the low-level area of Phonoscore, because, yeah, we're going down around here, avoiding kind of using this Sandy Sea that is a tripartite division. Okay. Hmm. In that case, we'll just go back over here and... Wait, there was another... Is it under here, or... That's the question. Eh, we can... I'll leave the Oculus for later. I'll get Crystal Flies right now, and the capsule. Go back up to the Collegium, and then... Over here is... No, it's not actually underground, well, to be fair, all this is, none of this is really 
Well, actually, it's all under sea, but no, not all of it is underground. Some of it is open to the sky, so to speak. Or we see the ocean surface. So actually, the distinction is meaningful. So I'll just pour that up. Cool. Cool. Thank you, thank you. What do we want to... Is that... It's not something I can boil up. Get a check for them. Yep, that's... More seabed. There is... Can I fit through there? Yeah, just barely. Actually, not just barely, but... This is a bit of a tighter fit than normal. That is... Oh, hi. Oh, well. Just a more capsule. Simple. And then over that way is... Around that part of Kalejim. So this is basically where it splits into its three segments. And... Oh, clamshell. Yep, these are staying open, so we can keep checking these. And... What is that? It's all stuff I've seen before, I think. Mostly, it's just from the other side, which is making the difference. So let's go over, stop that angle in its tracks. Come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, and treasure, or... No, not this side. Is that actually going over to... Wait. Is it going over... I guess it just... Does it just have a root that long? I guess it's possible. Hmm. Well... Well then. That way is going back, grabbing the treasure. Okay. I'm just gonna go around down this side and then gradually ascend. Actually, I want to see is. I always feel like I have to test these out to make sure nothing new happens. Nothing really ever does, but. It's, a, it's the visceral physical satisfaction. It's the, it's the kinesis of it all. So, got her. Oh, but we got far away enough that her ability disappeared. Given that this is, is this bigger than? No, I would think that Fontaine Great Lake is still a good deal bigger. I would say. Yeah, yeah. This might have a bit more verticality and be a bit less open in the sky, but even in spite of that, it's... I don't know. Honestly, the Faded Castle, I like that they added a good amount of undersea, even if it was still more underground because we were walking. Stop it. No story. I do need to talk to people in Petrichor, though. There's Wood and Collegium, and there he is. Hello, Saw. Hmm. What in that case is. Not those jellyfish over there, but. I don't really need to bother with them, I assume, because. What he did. Since this is underwater, there's nothing that. They allow me to reach that I couldn't reach otherwise just by swimming out. There are no octopuses around, so I don't imagine we have to push them out. Mm -hmm. I assume they really are just there for more convenient transportation, but in the end, who really knows? Okay. Got that left. It. Oh, and that will be our funny eel challenge. Isn't that that's interesting, it looks like... Is it just perspective, or is... One actually just bigger than the other? I didn't know that you could get... That level of variation... In size between... Xenochromatic sea creatures. <clears throat> it, it would be really funny if the big one gave... A super explosion. That would actually be very, very Zelda. It reminds me of... The big bombs in A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds. I need to... I feel like I should go back and... stream a playthrough of... at least one of those games. I guess the question would be... 
mean, I guess I could hire someone to mod my 3DS and install a capture card, but I need to find it and also... Frankly, it's all kind of a wash, because the SD card slot does not work. So I would probably emulate that too, now that Citra is gone, you know, word knows how. But, just... That, did that take two? Okay. Well, at the time I said that, you know, it hadn't died yet, so it was going to take two. Proper through it fruit with three attacks. Oh, but, can I... Uh, well, huh. Alright. Let's try that again, so I do have to... I can't go wide. Okay. I really do have to follow the arrows, it just doesn't work at all otherwise. The issue is, is that the angle of the... Yeah, see, exactly. Unless it's perfectly on point, it'll decline a little on one side, and I'll just... Hmm, gotta be really, really precise with this. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we got those all, that's good. So timing that one too is gonna be some trouble. It'd be funny if we could Scylla just blow these up. What is Scylla doing? Is he gonna comment on this? Hi. Come to see me. What are you doing? I think you're right, okay. Tempting, sleep, and we're tempting, okay. So actually, a few of those got gotten by the blade. Okay, at least one of them did. So we just need to time this last one. This might be trouble. I like that they made this a bit tougher, given that this is. Final Fontaine area in the patch, but that was a little silly. Well, the big thing, I suppose, is if I had messed that up, I should have started things by going for the hardest one, and if I mess that up, going for an easier option, because that's what you do in a game show. You choose the harder questions, and then if you kind of get it, you can go down to the easier ones and just go for a run, basically. I that's how you're supposed to do it on quiz ones like Jeopardy or some, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grade? Are you? Well, I think, I think very specifically it was for Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, which I'm not sure I am. Which is... They don't let you go into the negative, like in Jeopardy, you bottom out at zero. So it's always better to go for the hard ones... And then if you mess up, you know, you won't lose as much. You have a bit of a safety net. But that's precisely why. Can I actually... Oh, you can't even... can't even deal with that right now. Interesting. Kinda. Time trial, 1700 particles. I wonder if that'll have any effect on... Those anglerfish. So they're definitely keeping some of those octopuses down. Impression. Fight the man. But... Essentially, the... Well, it's also kind of like an investment. It was I did some finance stuff back in college. I didn't really have a passion for it. Thought it helped me get a job, but you know, can't fix lazy. But the big thing is that there are a lot of things that just require critical thinking, basically, in the sense of sort of limiting, check, seeing how much you could possibly gain or lose on an investment. That was just kind of, you know, the maximum you can lose is everything. Or at least whatever you pay to get in. The maximum you can lose is your initial investment. Oh, if you paid a bunch and went into debt, you can lose that too, but... You know, the most you can lose is what you actually spent. You can't lose any more than that. You know, in real life, I guess in Jeopardy, the analog would be debt, I suppose, but... I think, will this actually open that up, or does that have anything to do with the other dudes? Okay, once all four are there, we gotta hmm. stop them. There we go, and nice. Have any effect? It does not seem to have any effect, have had any effect on the angler fish. So how am I gonna get them to leave and let me get that hydroculus? You gonna serve as a distraction? Think of something. Probably distract them, or... Where are you going? Octopus, where are you going? Home, oh, there is nothing left. Okay. So up top, and... Oh, up top here is... Where we're heading. I probably wouldn't have checked that, actually. So then... Over there, and... There's one... There's a crystal fly around here. 
I wonder if it disappeared, if we got too close or something. I think... No, no, okay, and there we have it. And, oh, that... Oh, it kept going, even without... Well, you know, we got a crystal fly. I just use this to head up, but... It is kind of like an underwater sea lead. Okay. Now, one of them is moving... Oh, it's the music distracting them. Okay. So then, in that case... Let's see. This is tough. So what if... Uh, it's gonna unlock a treasure chest inside it. I think it might. That'd be really funny, actually. So... So... Can we... We got to wait a bit, but... Well, I think the particles are let you... Wait. Wait. Is that... How many particles were there? Oh, it just... Made this appear. And then... So once the other one is gone, will we be able to actually open up those angles? Are they just going to disappear, or what? It is interesting that they're seemingly keeping this washer octopus captive for some perverse, unknown purpose. Assumedly perverse. Oh, and okay, this is simple. Let's take you down. It's simple. We kill the manta ray. <clears throat> right, since that was part of the objective, they don't have any drops. And then, hmm, moves those over, distracts. Should be. And that may be dropped to collect the... Okay, now it's there. So I didn't have to collect the particles and open up, presumably, the Mora capsule to get that. But, you know, you never want to lose out on three more. And one, two, three, four, and just... Three. Okay, kind of spun in behind us. And then, question is, once we get that and open up that, where are the anglers going to go? People have to keep track of that myself, but either way, we got a luxurious chest. I almost expected that to actually be an achievement. So the question is, if I reload the area later, will... Hmm. It's just... Anglers. Will they be moving about? Will they be gone? What will have changed via the... Them. If anything. Maybe I'll just be here... Chilling. Who knows, really? <clears throat> oh, but... This would actually be a really easy area to reload, because that teleport waypoint is actually right there. I didn't... Forgot about it, and I didn't see it just now. Potential energy without triggering any explosive, explosive barrels, but that's not much of a... Time trial, really. Oh, whatever. Hi. Hello. Boom. Oh, but it's... The effect of gravity is actually still strong underwater, so we just have to kind of lob it in to... Avoid those, and oh, interesting, this requires some precision. Hmm. And just over there, and... Okay, we got it, we got it. I like it, it's... It's not difficult, but... The objectives are plainly a lot more creative. And I like that, it forces you to... Think a little bit more. I guess if I had to choose between... I mean, in the end, I would prefer a combination of good challenge and creative mechanics. But if I had to choose, I would say creative mechanics. <clears throat> that said, I don't think I should have to. And generally, I don't. But if I had to choose, I would go for creativity and mechanics. But you were... 83. It really is not a big area. How many, how many oculi do we have left? We have only eight oculi left until it all finishes out. That's cool, that's cool. What are we good at? Hmm. That would stop us, so no point in checking that. We're already bumping up against the edge, more or less. 
So only this little bit over here, and then I think I will check out the sandy area all at once, and then go to Quivis Capitolinus to get the remaining bit of this area. We'll see. Because that would basically be all that's left in this. Finish that out in the remaining hour or so, I think. I'll think about. A little more nourishment. Okay. Got a few down here. We can take them all out. Thank you. Goodbye. You will not be missed. And then, where will you go? Over here. That was simple and easy. There wasn't really anything we had to do other than free that octopus. Fine by me. Oh, but right also. The final shrines of depths. That said, if we if we level up the statues all the way, level up the statues all the way, we will get the necessary keys. So that isn't anything to worry about really. Interesting how they just have seemingly normal manta rays swimming about. Well, okay. We got you. Let's use the other ability for sake of intrigue. Two, three, four, goodbye. Then another Oculus. Hello, funny friend. Hmm. Not a lot of those shells. They've got a lot of gimmicks stored up by now, so there's only so much they could really do. Okay, just keep spamming that sprint swim button, and up there, simple as. Oh, there was one of those, too. Interesting. Did I miss that, or was that challenge related? Either way, we have it now. So then... But did I miss a this? Well, either we didn't, or there was nothing there to begin with. Either way, no real issue. There is... Just gotta make sure I don't miss... Oh, and yeah, we did. Got far away enough, and they do seem to be doing their thing normally now, so can we do that and... Oh, but... I guess... they just aren't ones that we can actually open up, but they're permanently... permanently closed? Permanently on patrol mode? I guess it could make sense, because otherwise it would mean frankly a pretty outsized reward for just that singular little challenge. Which... On one hand, it's nice to get more rewards, but it would mean being disproportionate compared to other parts of the area. I should stop defending that. It's not behavior I should defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, famous defender of corporate greed, me. So, going this way. Definitely gonna have to quiet down a little soon, but should be able to keep going at least until the area is all cleared out. Gonna have ASMR again. So, how much more is this? Maybe I should turn up. Turn my gain up a little. Usually it's at a kind of 10 at a 10:30 o'clock position. Just. Let me test this. So right now, right now, speaking normally gets it to sort of the yellow position in a way. Speak a little quieter, it compensates. Okay, so that's that's what I'll do. I'll just kind of be a little a little whisper. Actually, let me try that gain a little. And that's and that's about where I want it. That's about where I want it. Even though I'm more or less whispering, I'm still should still be basically audible. We'll see. So if I just can I even get up here, or will it stop me before I hit the precipice? Close horizontally, horizontally, but it doesn't seem like there's any vertical limit. But it doesn't really make a difference. 
do like how the sun coming down, even though we're underwater. It's charming. So in that case, we have seven more oculi, and that would be every single hydroculus in the game. Which makes me wonder when they inevitably, and I do mean inevitably, introduce Mount Asus. What the sort of key sigil, uh, adeptal, I mean spirit garb, slash... Uh, slash key sigil, spirit garb, slash crimson agate, slash rune stone. I guess slash plume of light. It is honestly kind of crazy how even though there were Dendroculi and those special Kvarina plumes in Girdle of the Sands, both of them, even though even though it was, I guess, sort of their expansion equivalent, I guess maybe it possibly suggests that things might have been changed around due to coronavirus or something. Moved around and that originally it was supposed to be more separate, but I honestly find that hard to believe, given that, well, what, I mean, I said that, believe in what I say, I find that unlikely, because so much Fontaine foreshadowing in Girl of the Sands with Renee and just Nurses and Coins related stuff, it's a possibility, but it just raises the question of what would have been there otherwise if it had actually been intended to be different. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, cool. And just take it down. So easy. Yeah, we'll need to do a bit of farming. In case, wink wink, it gets used for other weapons and coming patches. As in sort of welfare weapons, but... I can do that. On my own time, or at least... On stream time next patch. It is very funny, but... It's like I'm a slacking worker. Trying to figure out how to just hit that 30 hour marker as soon as possible for my meager bounty of prima gems. Okay. So how should I get over there? He does charity for that, actually. That worked kind of well. But okay. The sparkles are not actually. Sparkles are not actually investigation points or items or anything. It's just. Sparkling for the sake of sparkling, which, to be fair, is a pretty good reason to sparkle. So I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there was anything else in here, really. But if I. And over up top. Wait. Oh, it's. It's in the Shrine of Depths again. <laughs> should stop being surprised by that. I probably won't. Probably not ever. I would have to get a good deal smarter for that, and, you know, it's pressures, it's... Where's the pressure for that? I don't know. Let's climb up here and just... Ooh, please. You. And we're over uh, this way. Only seven more oculi. Let's switch it out to our... Also, we... Don't really have any seeds to pick up down here, so... That's just there. It is nice that... It was nice how they made it so that if you activate... If you get the chance that the treasure cup is found, it refreshes the cooldown. Well, as in clears the cooldown. It's also nice how... Though I didn't notice it as much, it was early. How if you home in on the same one a second time, it just does the shorter cooldown again instead of doing a long cooldown, as it might do otherwise. So is it playing a lower note because we were lower down, or what? Well... Nine accelerated aqua rings within, within 35 seconds, so... Presumably, yep, we'll use this to uh, get through faster. I wonder if we could go back the other way through here, and not get pick up any items along the way, or, or what. Oh, I think... Yeah, this just will take us from... One side or the other, maybe? I think. That's cool. It's for this specific little ocean passage. You can go a little faster, but oh, without the aqua rings, it's a much slower trip, which makes sense, but still. There's no Tidalga or anything else to know about it. Pick up. 
That was presumably at least somewhat a deliberate choice. I'm not sure. Let's just continue onward. Go up and around so you don't proc that unintentionally. I guess what would happen if we went through from the, from the other side? Would it... Well, clearly it's got a funnel shape, so it shouldn't send me the other way to the small end, but besides that, that's what I'm curious about. Would it send me anywhere at all? If I did this, if I did this, what would happen? Oh, what? Oh, it does send you in the normal direction, but it has you do a little U-turn first. That's kind of cool. Kind of. Can very slightly change the camera angle, but only just barely. Okay, interesting. And the next would be, we only have six oculi left. Check and, well, I do feel like grabbing that tight alga. I'll lose sleep at night if I don't. Well, actually, two tight alga. I think maybe a third, too. Back over there, but yes, I will lose sleep at night if I don't. Okay, it was only two. Now I can sleep at night. And maybe other times, too. So, let's just... Go and... I think we've done that already. I think. Go back over this way to the end of that sandy path. Is there anything down here, or... There was this. Okay. So what? Okay, it's a jellyfish. Oh well. Like that. Thank you. Then they're shooting, but not at anything in particular. What was... Is that anything, or...? I don't think that was an oculus, but... Yeah, it wasn't an oculus. The only thing I can think of is it would have been... Crystal flies that I accidentally killed. I might go back and review old footage... Eventually. Have that as a marker for myself. Come on, come on. Because I, I was thinking about how I should maybe mark things I want to review for later. And I said, you know, maybe I could have some kind of stopwatch running. But the easiest way, you know, the cutting of the Gordian knot, so to speak, would just be... Right over there. Okay, I did already get that. This is just... Is that again? It was right. It was the ball. Just sending a small message to chat whenever I feel like clipping something or checking something out later so I can just you know, review the footage and whenever I see that message I can just use it. Helps that chat isn't exactly busy. Okay. So if I went up over here. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, it could run around the sand path and then I go to sort of Capitolium area. Because there's the... In terms of things I have left to do, I have... That's some hangout events. I've also got the music event and the crystal event, which I'll do tomorrow. Just thinking. Thinking out loud. My Ed Sheeran. Seven particles before the Auric Anglerfish. Which way's it going? Going that way, so if we, can we... Can we move now? Can we move? Okay. Anglerfish. So we just do that quickly, and there we go. Oh, so Wait, what? What happened now? Oh, it's... This is the one that repeats three times. Uh-huh, okay. Start the challenge, and you gotta find a way to go ahead of it, and just the closer we get ahead of it, we, the more we can snatch out of its mouth, out of its nasty maw. And then, yep, one more. So what kind of achievement are we gonna get from this? Ancient Sea Treasure Hunter. Oh, that was a different one. Just particles before. Okay, because we accidentally started the other challenge, too. And we just go around it. Oh, try not to get sucked. But oh, actually, we could... That's right, we could just stop it. That's right. Right, okay. I'm stupid. That's the easiest way to do it. 
All I had to do was stop it. <laughs> you should see Adventurer. Challenge completed. And then, let me see. Chess and open world time trial mechanisms. So there was no special achievement, we just got a number of chess. So somewhere there's at least, somewhere there's at least, somewhere there's at least, okay, I need to actually whisper, otherwise it'd be too loud. Somewhere there's at least one more ceiling, so. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep looking. Four to be kind of quiet. I wonder if that would lead to anything, but no, it doesn't seem like it. I just go down on the ocean floor again. We go down this way. And then we kill these octopi. I mean, octopuses. What difference does it really make? Play together. And underwater speed run before the washer octopuses. And it does use octopuses in here, too. Speed run. Oh, they're all kind of cheering for me. That's cute. So just keep sprint swimming. We are going fast with Nuviat and Lynette and Fremen A on her side, you know. So not much they can really get in our way. And oh, it's ending over there by the big jellyfish. Okay, there we go. And a number of them. Who does feel like kind of a missed opportunity that that big one is not anything special? But whatever. So take that and anything here or hmm. It's just the way to the old palace underneath that has the bishop, I believe. Let's take you. Got that already, but let's take the big one just for fun. We could crab mode this, but I don't care anymore. I like this better. I like the bond better. Thank you. And just before you spin at all, we take you out. Fun. So if we go over, get some of this. There was a catapult a launcher over here, which would, yeah, I believe take us to that cave and nowhere else, really. So let me try this out, and yeah, well, we've been there already. I think I'll go back in and find a local legend one more time, just for posterity, but that's all it would be for. The question is, fight it how? There's no... Wait, is there... Okay, there's a crab over there that way. Let's see. If I... It's still too far away. Take it that, and... They're shooting between themselves. What I wonder is, does that actually count as an attack? Hmm. Well, let me see. That... That hurt me. That little water bullet hurt me. This... Okay, it is an attack. Okay. Interesting. I was wondering. That's news to me. And there we go. Big bullet and... Mm. Okay. Surprisingly high damage, actually. So you're gonna shoot me or what? I guess not. At least not on any timetable. I can really take advantage of, so... Oh, 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 Just knock you away and you get staggered pretty easily. So the question is, where is that octopus going? Nothing happened now, or... I guess it's just enjoying freedom for its own sake. Not bad. Okay. So we can just continue on here. A couple of box jellyfish and a... Oh, that's right. We don't have our bomb anymore. That's sad. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh. I mean, not box jellyfish. Box jellyfish are the real ones. These are hat jellyfish. An entirely fictional species with no connection whatsoever. Guess I could have grabbed that, but whatever. So now we should be more or less done clearing out the sands on the floor. So we can go and deal with Capitolium now. Or, I mean, Quivus Capitolinus. So now we have that over there, and that's more or less it. So one cave, which we've already been in, frankly, but... I do like how all the teleport waypoints make it easier to check inside, given how layers are kind of weird. The only part that's actually 
from top weight was this one over here, which surprised me because you might think that this would be Ptolem Ionis, Capitolium Old Palace, and the Phonoscorum, which is actually still part of Capitolium. Yeah, I do want to beat up. We'll go edge one more time, maybe with maybe with Tomo Virgin? I'm not sure, because the last time I fought it I used a high button. That team worked well, and to be frank, Tomo Virgin might have some energy issues. But it'd be fun to try. Because the damage on me is honestly kind of crazy. Okay. Let's just go over here. There's that guy up over there. I wonder if it might have anything to do. That time trial might have anything to do with the Blubber Beast. It is possible. But to be fair, a lot of things are possible. That doesn't mean they happen. Oh, resonance points. Blubber Beast. Oh, I was right this time. And it's actually kind of lining up with... Hmm. Running up with the... Oh, and it's on the rocks, because they have to have an... Or at least, if it's not specifically supposed to make it easier to find, it's definitely done. Because they need to attach it to an object to make it actually kind of ping on. Okay, there's a chest here. Thank you, thank you. Where do we want to... I mean, as pretty as that was, and as nice as the lines on it matched up with... Lines on the bridge, I mean the aqueduct. Exactly, you know, what's a bridge underwater to be here? What's, what's an aqueduct underwater? And it is interesting. Some dialogue didn't play, but there was sort of an aquabus equivalent in the river, yeah. Just given the whole sort of ancient high tech deal does make sense, but. Who mm, here is. A little bit more. Where will this take me, if anywhere? Over to... Nowhere? Actually, over to... I guess maybe it's trying to lead me to the... Angler thing that was going on before. It is weird that they just don't... Seem to actually be... Activatable. They... Still prowl around for... No real purpose. It's just... It's almost like there's golems. It's a little mournful. Everything is gone and everyone is dead, but nevertheless, it's like they will come sweet rains by Ray Bradbury, kind of. Okay. Can I? Mmm, no, those barrels over there and a bubble or seahorse by a. Let's get that. Aim just right. Couldn't aim straight up, so I had to do it like that. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Let's keep getting exploded, why don't you? Oh, but, oh, what? That! The explosion still got it, but that was strange and kind of unpleasant. I wasn't expecting it to sort of bang its head on the ledge over there. Oh, whatever. Challenge in 10 within 40 seconds. On these. Are any of them going to be on the pillars, or what? So some of them are. This is a chance to see what, if anything, is actually on the pillars, which, as of now, does not seem like much. I'm going to kind of weave through. And then... Anything up top, or... There's a Hydronculus on top of... Capitolium, it seems. I mean, what would you expect, really? Well, actually, it's... In this sort of crevice left. Huh. It's actually more interesting of a choice. It's sad still. And were these always here or were they added when we completed the quest line? I don't quite remember. I was a little sleep deprived when I did that. Up here it is. I don't believe anything. Hmm. Are we? We'll be alright. There's not that much left around here to explore. It's Mostly open ocean. And just can't imagine much would be atop here. We did go inside the Domus Oreo. 
but mm, even yeah, finding the local legend and opening the shrines of depths. What am I doing? Okay, only three more hydroculi in the area, and also as a result in the entire game. It's kind of crazy to think about. You know, not as soon as it started, but sooner than I might have felt. Fontaine is well and truly, well not over over, because we still be Mount Asus, but Fontaine's main patch cycle relevance is mostly done. Given that part of the relevance of Chenyu is related to Lantern Rite, and there's no similar sort of repeating event for Fontaine, at least not that we know of yet. I feel like we could get a directly Lock Knight related event, given that we did yet. Oh, but if we. Oh, this will be fun. If we detonate these barrels, should make combat easier. I presume. There we go, and then... Oh, hi. It's just one last one, and you're over there. Hello. That is fun. So just... So that got both of them, which is good. It ends. Over there are more of those barrels. It's just a matter of... Can we actually hit them with it? And the answer does not seem to be the case. Hmm. Okay. Do you find it funny how? I guess the question is what element would the Bumber Beast be associated with, because crabs of Pyro, the seahorses of Electro, and the sea hares, which make relatively few appearances of Cryo, probably because if you want to incentivize the use of Hydro, giving things frozen shields is not going to really do the trick. But, because Hydro just can't break frozen shields at all. It just total no soul, total no soul, total, total no soul, totally no soul. But mm, it's not hit the boundary wall. But it does feel like kind of a missed opportunity to me, because they are pretty cool enemies. If nothing else, it made it a decent use for I mean, I suppose. Is this gonna take us around Capitoline? I would think. Up here is nothing really, but let me hmm, let's grab this before I might forget. This is our teleport waypoint, but we're doing this in layers, basically. Can I get a tiny chest there? That's in the coin shell there. As long as I remember to go to. Actually, what's this? Hmm. This goes up top to somewhere, but it could be there's a treasure chest here. Hmm. That's cute. And then well be fair, I want to go up anyway just to see. It's on top of the pillars and whether there might be something actually truly on top. I feel like it's something I need to check in. It does seem like there were only two of those conks in the area. I think that's, I think that's the case. It's actually just... Mm, mm. Let's do that challenge, but first, let's eliminate this crab. I don't think it'd really get in the way, but just in case. Hi there, hello. Let me spin at me. Thanks. Boom. Boom. Okay. So maybe just... Another Oculus, so there's exactly one more. Exactly one more somewhere and after that. This will be the end of my Oculus collecting quest. Though to be fair, you know, I'm not, I was never that big of a fan, fan of virtual reality. Okay, so let's just continue onwards and do this challenge and another another thing passing through one. But it is interesting that they don't actually precisely tell you the objective until time has already started. I guess if it's not a thing of preference, I would guess it might be something in the code where the instruction is tied to the timer starting. 
somewhat irrevocably. I could I could see that. It's at least possible. The nice thing is that if I cancel the challenge, it would teleport me back all the way. I wouldn't have to swim back. Even that said, it is it is close to a teleport waypoint, which is nice too. I guess they did it so that if someone didn't know that or didn't expect that, expect them just try to teleport back directly, it would still be relatively convenient, which is actually quite thoughtful. The thing is, there's got to be one more. I don't see where it is. It'd be funny if it was also just on top of the dinosauria. I could, I could see that happening. So three more rings. I wonder how many more there are in total here. That said, it is also entirely possible that I just miss one somewhere else and have to use a resonance zone. Because I did miss one in Lithia region on top of the Fortress of Merope because I didn't think to check the top of one of those big sort of pipe chimneys. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just go around and pick up a little bit of things in this area and. Yeah, you know, finish it up. I guess I could just immediately go and the way to see whether I have them all or not would of course be the easiest way could arguably be just trying to submit them to the statue and seeing whether I have enough to actually take it to full. But I like turning them all in in a single batch without having to worry. Actually see kind of the edge and it really kind of flattens out. But it does make sense, given that Memori was originally above the ocean. This is kind of a, a continental plate, more or less, that sunk. So we can get that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's activate this, and... What's here? How much is... Did anything at all actually get activated? Well, there was... One thing in one coin shell. I guess opening up other clamshells might have influenced that. Another thing down there. Let's try that again. I think it subsides once you get everything in it, right? I think. Skin that jellyfish and pull this up. Thank you. A chest. And then. Oh, that. Is that a catapult? Or no, I was just mistaking the ripples I created myself. Okay. Then, activate, what is anything, or, it does not seem like it, that is kind of a tragedy, it's interesting that I still you interact with it, but I guess if you just really like the sound of the gong, maybe, maybe, just maybe I glitched it by quite a good number of them relevant objects before even activating the conch, but I wouldn't think that would make a difference. Because every time it checks, it has to check every object in there to see what it has to mark and what it doesn't. So the subroutine... Oh, well, finally enough that it actually got all its health back. That's weird. Come on, come on. Then we can... Thing over this way, I assume that if there is one just lying around, it would be on this sort of plain area. Maybe. Hmm. Let's go down here. And then. Oh. A couple of blubber bees up over there that way. Just gotta. It's gotten a little more complicated now, given how. There's kind of slope and slant and all that. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And then we can... Oh, there was... It'd be funny if the Oculus was in there. Don't imagine it would be. And then... Oh, there's a... Sealy in there. That's what's going on. There's still a chest, too. Oh, double reward. Let's just take you to... be interesting if the sea... Oh, no, it's not going to be a gateway to a... Well, actually, let me take... Take that and just... can we... Oh, well, that does not stagger the lock. It doesn't do much of anything, really. The only thing it does is enable you to aim decently well, even if you can't. Okay. So let's just... So we can get in, just Domus Aurea Guide. 
There we go, and that was... That might be... There might only be six seal in there. It's possible. Let me just get two shrines of depth, and we're done. That would also mean getting the Fontaine main card, finally. Which, I guess, would indicate that Fontaine is basically done. It's the closest thing to. Hmm. Since you get all the Oculites. That is the closest thing to indicating true 100% exploration, because things like... You could reasonably skip over Oculi if you really wanted to and still get... most of the fountain for the sigils, but there's no way you're getting that much exploration without getting oculi. That is the true test. Okay. Come back around to the other side of Domus Rovio. And then... Hmm. Just don't imagine that there's at least one thing over there, pretty far away. Near the pillars. I believe it's a bit over here, it's sort of here, here, here. I think I got most of this. I do want to check the aqueduct one last time. This is just like Eurogetti's garden. So let's. How do we want to. Let's pause it. Not that. Oh, but. I get both of those, or do we have to. Can we get both of those with one? Okay, cool. Let me just stop you over here. Thank you. Should do it. Dead. Okay, cool. Oh, and, okay, the chest there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I think, that was, I think this was how I was supposed to do it. And to be fair, if I really wanted to, I think I could have. As long as this got in the middle, I actually got all three of those at once. But frankly, this is more visually appealing, even if it isn't as much of a consummate display of skill as the other way would have been. I do appreciate how the Ramara Titan flowers are just instantly collectible if you're underwater. It's a cute detail. One of three, so if I if a new character Wink Wink came out and you knew that is the material I would need. Well, I would need 63, no 65 more, really more 62 because you get a few from A few from doing their test runs, so it's not that crazy. Anything up here or what? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Big issue with. Let's get hydrogen everybody. Let's get everyone snobby. The one interesting thing about treating my mic down like this is that it definitely makes it what was in treating my world and using the mic to compensate is. I'm sure it makes the keyboard tabs a lot easier to hear. That said, I'm not tapping all that much right now, so I should be horrible, but still. Okay, spin at me, spin at me. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, what? Okay. Interesting. Didn't expect there to be two of them. And then we can... Yep, we can get both of them. Nice. Okay. Explosion had just enough air for that. Okay, so then... Get, oh, 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 no, 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 no. Then it. Next one is. It's over here that way. Not really yet. I can't even be sure whether there is another Hydroculus somewhere or not. It's just. Hmm. Again, the proof will be in the pudding once I've cleared out this area. I'll just go over, try to submit them all, and see if there's anything left to have to submit. But, I don't know, it's troublesome. So, so, got that, and underneath here, and then just actually checking top the Domasoria. There's also that ring over there. Oh, there's the last one. There's the last one. And that will be all we need. Cool. It was a, it's a small area, but it's got... This is very classic, very serene. Other synonym. 
And then just anything happen if we keep going through here. Oh no, it was just a little bit to uh, that garden over there. Okay, cool. I wonder if there's any kind of achievement related to uh, chords. Fragment of an ancient chord, basically. It's kind of a consummation of that, so to speak. So that's another chest over there, and then after that, I presume it will literally just be the Shrines of Depths. Hmm. Oh, over there is. Hello. Hi. Sorry, not really. And just take you, take you out. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, but over there is a little bit more, so. Oh, right, because we didn't go up on this part. Okay. It's good that I checked this out then. But well, only just be treasure, but still. Oh, bits of treasure. Oh, okay, there was one sort of spare seed to ensure that the achievement did not require too much. That is. Is that a hole in the roof? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Hello there. Hi. And just get that and you hit me. Thanks. Go over and get that chest. Okay. A couple more guys in this race. Did we have that race down? Okay, cool. It's nice that the enemies are kind of an indication. If I go and pull everything up, you know, until then I have it by weather. Stuff to grab. Thank you. I mean, whether there are enemies to dispatch. That tells me. Whether I've been there or not. The thing is, is that this crack over there. Okay, that doesn't lead to. You have to go down inside from the outside, which makes sense, but still. Could have been fun. Hmm. The thing is, is that there's no mind screw like there was with the time travel painting in Enconomia. I'm gonna save that for the Book of Revealing. It does raise the question of if and when we get Mount Asus, will we get more pages for the Book of Revealing? It's certainly possible. I'm hoping for it, I just don't expect it. Okay. In that case, let me. Let me. Keep on going. Got to be. Josh and me. It's down there, and. Treasure chest, and right on top of you is. Final Hydroculus. There we are. We can trim that in and then. We have to come back to go to Shrines of Death. We may as well do this pretty much immediately after at least I do this. So what is the jury's What's the objective going to be? What is this? Three, two, one. It's not like the singing. Think of something. Go to the other side, or... So this is basically for free. Oh, the eels are over there, and... Do something with the eels, or what? I don't think I saw those there before. Maybe I'm just stupid. Yeah, it's definitely something new, because I didn't see those. Oh, we have to get more octopuses here somehow. Okay. So how's the eel gonna get more octopuses here? So when there's only three, that's easier. This makes sense since it's part of something else and they make it easier. Seems to have learned something. Oh, it's learning music from the eels and from whatever's in here, probably. There are other octopi or octopuses over there, so it's one of them is just learning from other octopuses. So was it crucifies that I killed her? What? Something from the it's cool. From the eels from the xenochromatic bobber beast. And of course it has to be xenochromatic, otherwise we would just end up killing her. And we got a manta ray. They know us. We know our proclivities for violence. Here is... Oh, another... More investigation points. We free them, and we'll learn something else, and we'll... I hope this... This might give an achievement. It's possible. And, oh, we need... A few more. That's tough to aim. The blade's cool, but the angle is honestly more trouble than it's worth. So, 
we go over this way. Thank you. Seems to warrant something. So now it'll go back and play its heart out, heart out and get us a fancy luxurious chest. And maybe even an achievement. Oh, are they going back all together because they sound better as a guru? How heartwarming. So let's see how this works out. One, two, three, and. We have to activate you? Yeah, we do. Time for concert. One, two, three. And no achievement, but three treasure chests, including one luxurious chest. It's quite nice. Okay. So in that case, oh, and is the anglerfish. The anglerfish has come watch. Come to watch. That's really cool. Okay. Yeah, nothing left. By the way, the only thing left to do really is go to 99. So I'm assuming the Shrines of Depths might be what make the difference here? Possibly. This angle is shrine, shrine. Didn't mark it, so yeah, it's a shrine. This is, of course, the place. Oh, we've even got Farina in the party. Okay. Here and just level it up. Bit of healing, you can see that. And <clears throat> let's see. Offer all of those and straight to level 10, are we? Yep, nice. Got our funny ring. Here you go, folk orders. Like water's clear. The efforts have been acknowledged. Okay. Oh well. Let's power wash this thing. Okay. And we can actually get our get our name card. New Hydro Archon. That we will notice. Understood and dare use it without permission. Fontaine Judgment. So that means we should actually I'm gonna change that, but just checking if you do have to mouse over. Let's go to my profile. Actually, I want to see. Set those up. So, what do I want to remove? I guess. Reputation is not as relevant. Which then we'll just this through. Substitute in. That ends. Another Fontaine one. Where is it? Where is it? It's down here. It's interesting how they have them just purely ordered instead of sorted. Okay, and then Steambird. Okay. This is full. Wondrous machine, right energy box. Like with mecha that symbol. Okay, cool. So now, so now only a little bit of monster, but Oh wait we Oh we didn't do that right. We had to save it. I'm an imbecile. Okay. I agree. Edit edit profile. Edit profile. Okay, 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 and then we go down to get Fontaine and then we save it. But don't forget. Okay, there we are. <coughs> and then when Celestia comes out, we can get all those achievements. Well, Celestia's done, I assume. So in that case, in that case. Go back and walk the shrines of death. It's just right over there, we can do that then. Oh, but right, since this is the only one that's actually technically surface there, even though it is water. It's interesting because it suggests that being underwater is not inherently it's a separate setting, which makes sense because it is just basically an object that put in a separate setting from the layers. Okay. But not one shrine of depth key. Serious chess. Thank you. And all that, and this is at 100 now. Me. I wonder is if I use that wood, no chest nearby, and then over here, and then it's just go to the top of the domus and then see what happens. Are they still going around or are they gone? It 
it's still here, and they're still just impervious, so... They will be here forever and serve no purpose. Nothing. What's the value of any summer ant? Okay. Sanctuary Pilgrim, Rhapsody in the Ancient Sea, which also means we completed, we completed that. Cool. That's an order. Interesting. So, 100% and no story and see a bygone eras, and there, and there were none in no story. So, <laughs> it's just see a bygone eras, but I guess they didn't want to spoil that. Phobos gone out of control, Harmos Brack and Harmony, Fortuna's wheels trying noiselessly. This thing knows that even the perfect melody must someday end. Must someday end. I have to end on Sunday. Okay. I said that. So, how many achievements do we have now? We have 111, 62, 1062. So is, oh, there's, wait, what? So I did miss something. And where is it? Oh, it's, uh-huh, okay. So yep, I missed this part, so it's a good thing I checked. Let's just see. What would happen if we use this? Oh, it's mostly just checking inside the tubes and pipes, so since we already checked them ourselves and got it all. Actually, there's something here, but oh, a music disc. Okay, cool. Over here is a oh, moral capsule. Okay, so let's I forget to deal with that. So I didn't touch that really when I went to the Collegium. Okay. When I went to Collegium. When I went off. When I began my studies. Okay, so this is going to be the last chest, I guess. This is five. Five? Let's see. Five. Wow. And there we go. Nice. Exquisite chest. And let's just... Ooh, but we have to Really hard to get through. Oh, because right, the eels are there. The collision to go. So, did not detect any chest or blood, so it seems like it should more or less be it. Hmm. Right, we want to go to here real quick and just see. And then, of course, fight the local legend one more time. Did not detect any chest or blood, but might there be anything atop this lofty? Giant pipe organ. Okay. What are you done with you? It's got a. Yeah, but it's not like you can give us any more treasure. Probably in the range of losing our Bulber Beast ability, ability, but we basically teleported here, so. I wonder if its distance moves. Sort of. Displacement measurable moving instead of just while teleporting. Or, at least in part, they didn't ass they assume that people wouldn't really be teleporting a lot underwater, and that they're sort of fail safe, or, I don't know, I guess preventing sort of cheesy abilities from being taken, but they didn't want them. But it is interesting how they might think to balance exploration of all things. Oh! Can't go up that high? You just can't go up to the roof. But I know that if we go back around, we could get a chest over there, but I wonder why they chose to do it that way. Maybe they had to. There might be limits to how much they can kind of gradate the barrier and they had to make it cut through the top in order to make it down lower in some other areas. I'm not sure. Now this kind of plain compared to the sort of mountain valley on the other side. So let's just finish this off with against the local legend using the tomb of the virgin team. That's just me. There's really nothing left in this area. It's basically all done. Well, I could try yeah I could could try this team. No, I don't want to. Even if it's a pretty weak local legend, it's still a local legend. So Nihiro Bajo. Shincho and Toma. Okay. Okay, when Dick Toko can then. So I'll just go over here and cool. We'll simply go this way and take that down. We won't do all that much, but still. I don't know. 
successfully. I've written that. Cool. And just take that, and we got that down. And boom, boom. And thank you. Just dodge it, dodge. Thank you. Thanks. Just sound it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Virgin, virgin. Dodge, and dodge, and dodge. And when are you gonna do more? When are you gonna put your aura down? Okay. Now you're putting your aura down. Okay. Cool. So I'll just do that. And I'll just dodge, dodge. Oh, right. You have multiple. Oh, what? Okay, five. Five and, well, oh, we actually managed to dodge through that. So, if we, mm, come on, boom, boom, boom. We're not, we're not. Take that and, this is tough. This is actually quite tough. Will the boom explode or not? No, it won't, no, it won't. Okay, just dodge and take that down. Thank you. We can get that out of the way. Yeah, everyone has lots of energy now. How nice. But this, having to stay away a bit more is some trouble, but it's not crazy, crazy. And just take that, and boom, boom, boom. Thanks. Oh, what? Not enough. Okay, cool. Thank you. Come on, just dodge out of the way. And how much more do we have to deal with to take you down? Come on, just... And I assume soon we'll have to... Uh, okay, right, and there's the aura. So, now we do our funny Bahita stuff. And I assume the balloons will... Maybe... Oh, no, they won't. Okay, sad. And there we go. And it's coming out of the way. I'm gonna shout with a few more virgins, and that will be the end of it. Cool, just take that down and blast, blast it. Cool, and nice, and take you down, and oh well, take a bit of damage from that. What a shame. And boom, boom, virgin, virgin. It's a good team, but mostly for it will be sold up really well against that. Make it some Baptist, though. And plus one is pretty fragile. Let's. Some of you folks need energy. Let's get rid of you then. Oh. Got a cobble. And then if we... This could be a funny way to deal with them. And there we go. <laughs> okay. That isn't... That isn't... No, it is full energy. It's because it... It's not moving in. It's... Two seconds for the next six seconds. So it, oh, so it's three ticks, but... I guess it was the particle particle grabbing that I mixed it up with, maybe. Well, last thing to do will be use some of my trash artifacts on all white and stuff for chivalrous. Spathius, cooperation, struck out, can't be red, traitor, 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 sick, xenopolis. Okay. It's that, oh, I, I was thinking about trying to wave fight against the bishops, but because they're really good to fight with the Arlecchino team at least, because they don't get knocked back too much by overloads, and they you know, it's just a wave fight of relatively weak enemies who will, are aggressive enough to grip up on you. Because the other enemies who are evasive get knocked back too much in my way. I don't know. It was okay. So let's just grab up a few more of these artifacts with the trash we got, and be it for today. A decent amount was accomplished. Okay. 14, 13. I haven't gotten into purple yet. Oh, we got a good amount, though. And this, this will go on Chevrolet sometime. I can get her old set back. Okay. Cool. Cool. Good amount of crit rate has already been grabbed for fat. This is. Honestly, an incredibly good artifact set. Incredibly no good no bus set for for anyone who needs HP, but for, especially for Chevrolet. Good old Chevy. Chevrolet. A bit of that, and will we? Bit of attack. That it's not nothing, but we have enough energy recharge. Crit rate already. We really don't need more, but we can take more. Just need to be able to crop crits to. Good fav passive. Okay, cool. So how much is oh and right I never actually really saw that Ranger Vision design. That's yeah, that's cool. So I believe at least in tournament it's called a Ranger. For collaboration characters as rare as they ever occur and show up, but that's over a third, which given use of the skill and the burst, and hopefully, ideally, being in a multi-target situation if I'm running a Chevrolet team, 
it shouldn't really be a problem. Well, let me just check real quick if... Yep, the plants are waiting harvest, so... To avoid capping, we'll go through that real quick. Yep, we're close to max currency, so we'll avoid it. So we miss out, we'll do that. It's, it's bittersweet for Fontaine to be done. I do feel... It didn't reach the same heights as in Azum and Sumeru, but it did try to be more casual friendly and a bit less intimidating, which was probably necessary given that a lot of it took place underwater. They went out of their way to make sure that people wouldn't have to deal with this sort of fear of underwater there, which I respect. Uh, the question is, I would have to do the math to make sure to check and see which are they getting more or other stuff from the shop is a better use of resin, but either way we can get all the recipes now in our schematics. So source, sure drink, easy fold, freshman leaves, look at the viewer mark, fair and square, someone that's kind of palation, source for residence, reduce harmony. More bosses, and these should definitely be a bit more efficient. Because it's two for three, so two thirds per versus one and a half per. Which is more than. a little more than. a little less than double. Okay. Put a few more of these and. use up all the stuff we have to use normally, and then. then the unlimited stuff will be done, and we can. I'll do this math, but I'll probably end up just saving it for when I really need to upgrade a Fontaine weapon. If I need to upgrade a Fontaine weapon for somebody or something, I'll just use these until then. I'll probably wait it out. So eventually I feel like I could just wait and sit on it until I need more. Uh, depends on what's most efficient, because the most efficient thing is more. Uh, I'll just buy everything out now. It's exactly 10. Exactly enough to just send them all through right now. So that is exactly what I'll do. Just... Hmm. It was kind of crazy how well the Toma Virgin team worked in the base, but a lot of that was because of Grim Blessing. Because... And I think it wasn't even enemies hit, it was just all enemies. Regardless of whether they were affected by that instance of the reaction or not. It's just... Okay, on an opponent, the opponent's singular, so yeah, they did have to be affected, but still... It's good. Um, hmm. Shavrooks and Arkin will definitely get friendship 10 before the end of the patch cycle. Sound that much. Oh, right, but we can't obtain all. We can do that. Okay. What should be? Let's do it. We go to Petrichor and use the compass one time. So. So do I go out? That's from the last patch. So, railing, fresh meat, and these railings in the hotel to board. So, keep that until that. We didn't even notice. It's from materials, but it gives patterns. Air of artistry radiates from it. Also, with the owner of Vantage M. Art is the best season for how cuisine. So it's philosophy, custom orientation, elegant as for high culture, entire venue into celebration of art. This was a railings elevate over and deep, this is the aesthetic feast. Sprinkling mint leaves is a garnish while plating. So railing, perfect review and arc. Cypress wood. Oh, so it's wood and just painted very pleasing, it looks, it looks like. Work and design, better field of view, and the performance is close. Camera straight wings, harder build, more expensive to maintain, not found outside of the hotel mostly. Resource materials, wind resistant, and the flow of sandra. Oh, that, that's a flow of being saved. So I called metal old clock with Mecca, but that said, so was that added this patch or was it always waiting? Because I know they added a, a tree and that some of the rewards aren't shown until the end. Can't really be down in mind. Inferior, but they're far cheaper, inferior in appearance and performance. My span less concern, so there's no shortage of replacement parts. Carpet fair and square. Yeah, it's square, square. Well, it's actually more rectangular. So workmanship, water bands, it's called scroll work. Sign language, symmetrical, rationality. Gold slumdy instability, golden patterns. Your guests receive atmosphere accommodating the or trees, symmetry, just an affair. 
Golden Pattern, Sword of the Carpets of the Opera. Oh, okay. Michael Luminaire, Selenite's Contemplation, Rooms of the Area, Glass and Metal Structure, General Concentrate on a Smaller Area, The Stage, Love and Hatred, Patrick Passion, and Vengeance, Curtain Falls, Quiet Squirted Spot, Versus Thoughts and Feelings, Versus Alliance, More Gentle Day, Theater Goes, and Reviving the Drama. Hmm, okay. And Resourceful Residence, and so it's some Petrichor stuff, it's some just standard Fontaine. Looking standalone, ample turn of space, on to residence in one or two, common buildings in Petrichor, wave shaped roofs, rainwater drain, via e, via e, expensive living space, two rows with one stone. Six towns hunt, Mordusa Harmony. Mordusa. I only saw that here actually. I think nowhere else. Designed by artisans, Ren Blue Intertwined, we saw that in Petrichor too. I was great, one and all, this is made by a resident pushing the student out awnings. Decision for the hunt, Marcotti Red will do support at the same time. Auto waiver required. Selling everywhere else is an eye impossibility. Reasons have yet to enjoy this beautiful solution. So is Petrichor all that rich? I guess maybe if because of trade with Bida possibly. Trade hub, round table, share drink. So it even a child can carry. Guests visit chairs and tables relatively well, like opulent furniture in the court. Residents home, invited by the host to sit down. Do not think yourself unwelcome. Welcome to true friends. It's probation, it's pure white bosses, potted plants, simple pure white, made for elegance and beauty, pouring out what a story. Expect to be inspired. Mighty Bells, large and small, over Petrichor. Not only their own beauty, but also inspiration. I assume that would be Capellius. Easy fold, model wood cover, Cinderella, folding support, seat height giving range through the entire rack. Portable. Totally remote, demand for chairs, correspondingly low, outside guests taken care of, convenient seats, so the full the bolt and storable, taken out and adjusted when a customer comes or created to meet this need. Oh, okay, cool. I will simply take my leave then. So not much else. I did buy my fragile resin, I believe. I guess I could. How much would no, it'll be tomorrow then I get. It's only 360, I'd have to do both, and I don't feel like that. Okay, I'll be good. I'll do more tomorrow, and probably go a bit more around Petricor. I have... I haven't needed to use this. Did I use that on this week? Did I not buy it yet? Let's see. Home Depot. No, I bought it. What did I use that on? Oh, I used it on. I'm trying to get materials for Wanderer's Catalyst, which I barely did not get. I need one more of the gold. Gold ones. Okay. By the way, it's... For now, this is all Fontaine. That's it. It's crazy to think about, but yeah, I need to do stuff in some Meru so that I can hopefully get that quest going, because it, it's goofy. But, ah, oh, there's uh, a couple more on the rooftop, so... Let's grab some of those real quick. Where is... Where is... Oh! Uh, pure, I presume. It actually isn't. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Is that all? There's another one over on another side. The ones in towns are honestly the hardest to find. Over... Right in this balcony. And then... So that's all. Presumably. I guess I could just feed it those to Aoi. I don't think that'd be a level up but still. Actually. Yeah, it's still not. I feel like you even got any artifacts at all from that. Well, you know, things were done. I feel vindicated in leveling up Toma like this. Get me into 900. 905 with dental resonance, 955 when you fully trigger resonance. Yep. So the only thing left to do is go back to Court of Fontaine. Actually, if we're going back in Samaru to try to get those quests to trigger the quest, those commissions to trigger the other quests, I guess. This might be a slightly better place to be, I really don't know. So I'll just chill. Okay. Store five, so... Hmm. 
Just yep, expeditions for later on. Never wanted to real only got to refresh once a day. Quite nice. So that's that's actually enough to level up a character. I won't need to do that much experience grinding. Because it's three characters, it's Sethos, Sigwin, and Art Corinth, and I presume I would have until second half to get stuff for one of them, probably Sigwin? I don't know. But either way, it should be horrible. The big thing is, is that depending on how deep I have to go in, I might actually... What characters? How many characters do I have? I haven't collected the Primogen rewards from anybody, but... It... It's two that they like, so that's 40 per... I've got... 20, 40... 60... 74 characters, so that's... If we divide about four, it would be... Sort of... It's... Be, I would get 18 extra rolls, 18 and a half rolls from spending a day to just go through the teapots I've made, because I've set up every furnishing set It's out right now, go through it, collect all their friendship, I mean their furnishing set rewards, I would get. 18 and a half, which isn't crazy, but it could make the difference, given that two characters come out next patch. We have... Now we have 55, actually, so that... We went from 52, basically, to 55. That is the story of premium gem rewards from exploration. 55 and then... 39... 94, so... I could already hit hard pity for somebody. So the question is just what will I win, what will I lose, and how deep will I have to go in in terms of if I do more hangouts, and hangouts only a third of a roll, but we got that's basically four and a third of a roll. Well, this is all it's all questions and problems for future me, so that's all Santa Ragon.